Yo, you have terrible music taste, bro. Oh my god, you think this is a bad song? everybody doing on this fucking fantastic Friday chat? End of the goddamn school week. What a fucking dub. Oh, my God. Didn't think I would make it through that shit. That was my first week. I, I mean, a lot of y'all have been back for like a fucking month. I mean, after the chat for those motherfuckers. But that was my first week of fucking school. But that, thank God I'm done that shit. I mean, we got another fucking 40 of them, but... We'll get through it, chat. Anyways, how are y'all doing today? It's a fucking React Day, which is a fucking dub. Haven't done one of these in a bit. Uh, and I'm pretty excited because we got a lot of good reactions that we're going to be getting through today. Uh, Kylie for the sub. Uh, Jack, AJ, Vimo, uh, Simon, uh, TBD, uh, TBDJ, Magtap for the fucking 10-month sub. Kyler for the sub. Use for the three. We should do a movie stream. It would be fun. I don't know how to do it. But, you know how on Twitch you can do the Amazon, like, Amazon Twitch Prime movie watch parties? Should we do one of those? Not today, obviously, but one night I would definitely be down. Uh, I would just have to figure out how to do it. Basically, how it works is I would play a movie on Amazon Prime, uh, and I would be in, like, the very far corner of the screen. Uh, like, not even on the main screen. I would be, like, above the chat. Uh, where the chat is on your screen now. And then if you signed into your Amazon account, you would be able to watch the stream or watch the movie. Uh, and I think I would control the pauses and shit. I don't know for sure. Kyler for the sub, use for the three. We should do a movie. All right, for that. <laughs> Serene and Harvey for the sub, Xfinity for the sub, uh, Houston for the sub, TB for the three. I missed your streams, felt like forever. How you been? Good. Fiddle for the fucking two subs. Pre-stream. Thank you for the subs, uh, Fiddle. Uh, Cheesy in his area for the sub, Harvey for the sub. Harvey for the five gifted. Think of the five gifted, Harvey, 160606. Uh, dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the five gifted. We for the sub. Uh, Cryptic, X Hornix for the sub. Lucas for the three. Will you play Resident Evil 8? No. So for the sub, Vertigo for the sub. Russell for the three. We should do Scary Movie Night for Friday the 13th. When is Friday the 13th? Oh, October 13th. Ooh, 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 ooh. Should we do a scary, scary, re a full scary react day for Friday the 13th? I mean, that's a why, that's, that's more than a month from now. I don't want to play, I don't want to definitively plan a stream <laughs> more than a month from now, but I would be down, yes. I would, October 13th, I'd be down to do a scary movie night. Big Brain and Luke for the sub, Fiddle for the sub, Frosty and Vertigo for the sub. Uh, that might be the day. Damn, do they have any good scary movies on Amazon Prime? That might be the day we got to do that shit. All right, anyways, rundown of the reacts today we got. Uh, we have a Darman video. Uh, yo, Gutsy Aiden for the fucking five gifted. Stop in the chat for that. Think of the fucking five gifted, Aiden. You didn't have to do that, man. You already gave me a fucking keyboard. Thank you for the fucking five gifted. Brock for the thousand, but he's a Joe's for the 1,200, but he says tacos are good. They are. I got a rant, though, chat. Do y'all like hard shell tacos more or soft shell tacos? I can't eat hard shell tacos. They're more enjoyable. 
However, eating a hard shell taco is by far the most, it's less annoying than eating crabs, but a close second. Right? If you eat a hard shell taco, you're losing half of the shit within the taco. Uh, without a doubt, right? Especially if it's one of those fucking taco shells that has a flat bottom. Uh, and then you fucking uh, bite into that bitch. The entire bottom breaks. And then all of the stuff within the taco fucking falls out. Uh, Grubby and four for the sub. Dibble for, uh, Dipple for the sub. Uh, Nazario for the sub. All right. Reacts for today. Darman video. Dub in the chat for that. We haven't watched a Darman video in fucking forever. Uh, it is 16-year-old abandons his parents. What happens next is shocking. Uh, it's already has 3 million views in three days. Then we have a button video. I haven't watched one of these in a bit as well. Uh, can't really make these into YouTube videos anymore because they get copyrighted. <sighs> Cut copywriting their shit. Who would have guessed it? Anyways, can't make that into a YouTube video. But um, then we got the, the Florida Man Diaries. Uh, you guys have been sending this video for fucking forever. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the, the tragedy of a reaction streamer, a Meat Canyon video about Moist Critical, but also just react streamers in general. Uh, so you guys wanted me to react to it. Uh, British high schoolers try American cereal for the first time. Uh, day in the life of a Twitch mod. This is an old video, but I've never seen it. Uh, what it's actually like to climb Mount Everest. Five scary things caught on camera and in real life. This video is going to be fucking terrible. It's a Nukes top five, and it's from five years ago. And then I don't know, actually, chat, I wanted to include this for today, but I don't know if we ever watched it on stream. Did we watch Ted Nivison's The Accidental 400 Milligram Edible video on stream before? We may have. I don't remember if we did. Tommy for the three, uh, David for the three. What's good? I like soft ta uh, tacos or burritos. Yeah, burritos be everything. But soft tacos, I would say, are worse than hard shell tacos in terms of flavor, right? I think we have. I don't know. We might We might watch that one. I don't know. I, I don't even know if we're going to get through all these because we got like fucking nine videos. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything that I got to fucking say. Normally, I got to rant. Oh, I do have a rant pre-stream. The Chiefs lost. I'm not even a Chiefs fan, right? I'm not even a Chiefs fan, right? L fucking Chiefs. How, dude. All right. The Chiefs lost, number one. This is what I got to fucking say. I did a sponsorship with DraftKings, right? And in that sponsorship, there was a promo code where you placed $5 and you got $200 in bonus bets. I signed up for a DraftKings account, used my own promo code, put all of the bonus bets on the Chiefs, and lost. <laughs> Like, dude, I fucking, the, the one, the free bet, the free bets that I had, I put all of it, yo, and this is what's even more annoying. I, I put most of the money on the Chiefs, and then I put half of my money on parlays with Travis Kelsey, and he didn't play! <laughs> like, what are the fucking odds, bro? Oh my god. Like, dude, I... Yo, they had a minus 260 of winning. That is like, oh my God, almost a fucking lock, dude. And then the Lions fucking shaft them. Kadarius Tony had four drops. I took a screenshot of something. Kadarius Tony had more drops last night than Larry Fitzgerald had in his entire career. TJ for the three. I don't know what to say, but I wanted to send bits. Thank you for the fucking biddies. Uh, Chase for the fucking sub and Joes for the 5K biddies. Appreciate the fucking bits there. Joes yummy toes. Rar. Says rar. Thank you for the 5K bits, bro. Uh, and M, M. Maria for the five. Been watching for a year, love the streams, recently got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and avoidant personality disorder. I know what uh, borderline personality disorder is. What is avoidant personality disorder? I'm having a hard time accepting it. I'm in therapy, though. I've been 
Uh, feeling really depressed and empathy as well and having severe mood swings as I got up my meds for the first time in a year. I wanted to say thank you for making my days better with your streams. Well, I'm glad I could help, number one, in any way that I can. Uh, and I'm sorry that you got diagnosed with that, but I mean, being in therapy is the best thing that you could do for that. Um, I don't even know. Uh, let me Google. What is a vo chat? What is avoidant personality disorder? A disorder characterized by social discomfort and avoidance of interpersonal contact. Somebody who has avoidant personality disorder avoids intimate and social contacts with others. People with this condition may be extremely shy, fear, ridic ridic ridicule. Oh! Fear, that's a rough word, chat. Ridicule. And be overly concerned with looking foolish. Okay. Well, therapy is the best thing you could do for those. I mean, so I, I l let me know how it goes. But uh, I'm sorry you got diagnosed with that. David for the four. Chris Collinsworth made uh, me hate Patrick because he dick rides the fuck out of him. He made a five-yard pass and talks about how he's destroying the defense. Yeah, no, that pissed me off, dude. The commentators were fucking glazers. Toasted for the three. When is the Minecraft uh, modded world starting? Probably after uh, Subnautica. Today's React Day. Tomorrow, I'm doing um, a VR stream, uh, VR Creed Boxing, and VR Job Sim really early uh, at like 12.30 EST. Um, like 12.30 to 3.30. It'll probably be like a three-hour stream. Sunday, I'll be live at 2, doing probably a four-hour stream uh, where it is the Suicide Prevention, World Suicide Prevention Day, so it's going to be a charity stream Sunday, but with regular reacts. Uh, I'll be posting on uh, TikTok and Instagram about it as well, but that'll be a fucking planned out stream. Uh, so, uh, Subnautica will be Monday at 4.30. Tuesday, I won't be live. Wednesday will be Joyville and then Scary Reacts. Uh, Thursday, I'm going to be doing Fortnite and then uh, Miles Morales. Yo, do y'all chat? Do y'all want me to continue playing Miles Morales? It did well yesterday. I it, I had fun playing it. It was just like after like an hour and a half, people started to leave, and I'm assuming that's because I played Miles Morales for dead ass three and a half hours. Uh, so I think the better solution is um do a half and half stream when we do Miles Morales. Uh, mods, can you do a poll? And oh yeah, they already did. Uh, I think it's a really good game. Uh, I know it's old, but I want to I want to play it in pr preparation for the new Spider-Man that drops in October. I think just the best thing to do is to split it up into half streams. So next Thursday, I'll probably do half Fortnite, half Miles Morales instead of just straight up Spider-Man for three hours. Because it's fun to watch, but I mean, like, after an hour and a half, you're like, okay, play something else. Um, fiddle for the sub, Toaster for the three. Uh, for the boys for the three, Gift is made for the three. Uh, ultimate question, what is the best milk? Red cap, green cap, blue cap. I don't even know what red cap, green cap, blue cap is. I just know 2% milk is the best. I think red cap's whole milk. Green is 1%, right? Yeah, blue's two. Breezy for the three. I had heart and lung issues today. Uh, you being live made my day. Wish I could dono more, you rock man. I'm sorry you're dealing with that, but I'm glad I could help. Mr. Pops for the three. Uh, triple and toxic, or triple for the sub. TJ for the three. Helpful tip, never better on the first game of the year. And really, week one of general, super unpredictable. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know that, uh, initially, now I know that in hindsight, but I no longer have bonus bets because I use them all. Fuck! All right. Chat, let's lock in for the fucking first reaction here. Uh, also, if you have any videos, uh, you want me to react to, explain point Discord, join the Discord, send videos to react to. If you have any games you want me to play, explain point Discord, send them in the Discord, uh, game suggestion tab. Uh, no, but Miles Morales was really fun. Uh, 80% said, yeah, continue. Uh, so we'll just split it up half and half until we finish the game. Joe's for the... Th Bro, you don't got to keep giving this many biddies, man. Damn. What the fuck? If you are ever going through anything, please get help. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on that a lot on Sunday uh, for the World Suicide Prevention Day. But if you are ever going through any mental health issue, seek help. It is not weak to seek help. Uh, especially if you're a guy. Uh, if you reach out to a guy friend and they make fun of you, they're just a dickhead. You're not weak. Uh, reach out to somebody, uh, somebody will be able to either help you or direct you to somebody that can. F-Boy for the three. What's up, Joe? Love you. Thank you, uh, for the three. But he's Evelyn for the four. Uh, been trying to donate every stream. Wanted to ask, how's your day been so far? Pretty good. Uh, and Joe's, thank you for the 6K biddies, bro. All right. Let's lock in here for the first reaction. 16-year-old boy abandons his parents. What happens next is shocking. Oh, wait, we're eating hamburger helper again? I'm sorry. Yo, that actually does look kind of fucking disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> like normally, normally in a Darman video, they're trying to pan the kid out as to be like, like to be like some ungrateful fuck. But like that actually does look disgusting. I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh wait, we're eating ham. Oh, 
I mean, the mac and cheese looks pretty good, but with the fucking beef chunks, that is not hamburger helper as well. Hamburger helper again? I'm sorry, sweetie, but that's all we can afford right now. You know, when I was a kid, there was days that we didn't even have any food. So? You know, when I was a kid, there was days we blended tuna in a fucking, in a fucking blender and fucking ate that shit. Fucking chug jugged it. You know, there was days when I was a kid that I used to just fucking eat tree bark on the fucking sidewalk. Yeah, here we go. I hate the when I was a kid stories. When I was a kid, I had to walk fucking 35 miles to school through treacherous terrain through a snowstorm just to make it in just to make it to class in time. And if I ever fucking looked looked down against uh, outside of the fucking chalkboard, the teacher would whip me. Like, okay, buddy. Now we're just making shit up. If I ever dozed off in class, the teacher would straight up just fucking just fucking pick me up and ground pound me like a fucking Donkey Kong move. What's that got to do with me? Well, all I'm saying is sometimes you don't know what you got until it's gone. I mean, I would have killed to have some hamburger helper when I was your age. Okay, whatever. Did you know that your dad and I actually met when we were your age? I remember it like it was yesterday. And you were still wearing the same bracelet. Yeah, I know, I know. Mama was in the cafeteria, she was the new girl, yada yada. And I didn't know where to sit at lunchtime, and there's this really cute boy Who named- Who the fuck, what? What? Yo, number one, y'all are like 50. The photo would not look like that. Number two, the first time you met, who the fuck took the picture? You meet the new girl, you guys are chatting it up. One of your friends goes, oh yeah, no, they're gonna get married. Let me take a picture of this. Joey, who asked me to sit by him, <laughs> and he complimented me on my hair. And, and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about something that doesn't want to make me puke. Maybe like a new iPhone? What about it? Oh, yeah, hey, um, yeah, when can I get a new upgrade so I don't have to use this piece of crap? <gasps> All right, see, that is ungrateful. That is being a little fucking bitch boy. You want a new iPhone? Go get a fucking job, dickhead. Brandon, you know our situation. We will get you a new phone as soon as possible. But everyone else has one. I will say, though, I, yo, if, I, if, I, if, if you ate Hamburger Helper for like three weeks in a row, I'd be like, damn, dude. Can we switch it up? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's other cheap food, like rice and beans. Like, that's like the cheapest shit you could buy. This is so dumb. Hey, watch that tone, young man. You two are so annoying. I wish you two never met. Gosh, damn. You wouldn't be alive, dumbass. I wish you two never met. Then you wouldn't be alive, you fucking idiot. You're really that pissed that you can't get a new fucking iPhone? I wish I'd never be born. Like everyone else has PS5s, new shoes, and new phones. My parents are the worst. Are you even listening? I'm sorry, I've, I've just, I've finally figured this out. What is- What the fuck, is he some super genius? But he's wiring some shit in the middle of class that's actually showing like electrical pulses. Are you even listening? I'm sorry, I've, I've just, I've finally figured this out. I'm sorry, I finally figured out how to crack the mainframe. What is- I've broken into the simulation. that? It's no way he got a Nokia strapped to a, ba a bicycle helmet. <laughs> he better say it's some crazy shit. This is a mind control helmet. <laughs> this is a mind control helmet. A time machine. Very, dude, what the fuck is the Nokia's purpose in the time machine? Like where how how is a how is a fucking nineteen ninety five Nokia enabling you to travel back in time? Oh, to type the year in. Oh yeah, you need a touchpad, obviously. Yeah, right. I swear. No, it it works. I wish it did, man. I would go back twenty five years ago and make it to where my parents never met. Man. Are you serious, bro? All you have to do. Is type in how many years you want to go back in the past and hit the call button. When you are ready to come back to the present, just... It just genuinely electrocutes him.
<laughs> he types in 25 years into the past. He puts the helmet on. He just dies. Just like straight up. Literally just like electric chairs himself. The pound key and uh, call again. Cat? Like you, Neil. Out of all people, figured out time travel. Okay. And see in this. the middle of class, like, dude, he literally just put like a random GPU, or not a GPU, a motherboard, for like uh, some easy ass programming shit, just on like with red wires. This doesn't even look complicated. There's like five things on the helmet. <sighs> so I'm just gonna put this thing on, right? Press oh, these make sure to type. Yeah, make sure to type the year in on the Nokia. Ends right here, and then magically just. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And then magically just <laughs> fucking dies. Well, now he doesn't have a time machine. I'd be pissed. If I'm this guy, I'd be like, well, now this guy just, this kid just took my fucking time machine. Like, would you give you, if you just, you haven't even used it yet, chat. You just, okay, how did he know it was going to work? Number one. He was literally fucking with it and was like, oh, now it works, right? Would you give your friend your time machine without you ever using it? I mean, I might use him as a test subject, yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to be the first person to test that out, you know? Actually, no, I definitely would be one. I definitely would want to be the first, because then I would be the first person that went back in time. I wouldn't give him the fucking helmet. Now I don't have it. A bird for the sub, Rexy for the 12. I know it's only $12, but I felt like I had done something to your W streamer. Dude. Thank you for the fucking twelve dollars. I don't know. Don't say only twelve dollars. That's a fucking dub, dude. I appreciate that. I milk for the thousand biddies. I appreciate you doing a suicide stream on Sunday. My friend killed himself, and after that, I always tell my friends to come for me for help because if uh, it was really tough, and I don't want anybody to get through uh, that. Thank you, Joe. Uh, no problem, dude. I mean, I've been in a similar situation with a lot of people I know that have uh, took their own lives. Abert and Ralph for the sub. Uh, Tommy for the four. Joe say booby trap backwards. Party boob. Green Goblin for the sub. Four for the for the eight. I really wish that you played in the Sidemen charity match. You would make it so much more entertaining. When is the Sidemen charity match? Uh, and I mean, I would have fucking gone if they invited me. F-Boy for the three. What's up, Joe? Love you. Uh, Evelyn for the three. Uh, I already read that. Uh, a am sir for the sub, K4 for the sub, Rob for the sub. It's tomorrow, tomorrow morning, what time? Uh, let me Google. When is Sidemen charity match? Just says the 9th of September. 4.15 UK time. That 4.15 p.m. Bro! Oh, my God. Meow. Bro, it donates 20K bits and just says meow. Thank you for the fucking 20K bits, Joe's Yummy Toes. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Apollo for the four. I fell in love with, uh, Joe, a girl I fell in love with might be a lesbian. What do I do? What do you mean, might be a lesbian? Joe's yummy toes, though. Thank you for the 20K bitties, bro. Thank you for the fucking bits, man. I appreciate that shit. Wow. Oh, it's at 3 p.m. Well, 3 p.m. what time? Like, their time? It's 5 p.m. September 9th. Chat, y'all said, y'all said tomorrow morning. It's going to be tomorrow at like 11 at night. 10 a.m. for you. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so stupid. Fuck. 5 p.m. their time isn't 11 a.m. our time. It's six hours backwards, not forwards. Fuck. What time is that? 10 a.m.? It's not 10 a.m. That's 11 a.m. How far, oh my god, what time is it in the UK? It's at, it's 10 p.m., so they're six hours ahead. No, they're five hours ahead. So it's at noon. Fuck, that's when I'm streaming. Shit! 
Well, we're about to have like four viewers tomorrow, chat. Y'all appreciate everybody that pops in tomorrow in, in tomorrow's stream. Uh, I'll appreciate Nightbot and everybody else that's popping in. Watch it on stream. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Can you watch the Sidemen charity match as a streamer? You are allowed to? The match will be live streamed in full on the official Sidemen YouTube channel. Am I allowed to stream the match? Because should we do that instead? Would y'all rather me stream the Sidemen charity match or VR? Can you get copyrighted on here? Yeah, but I don't know if it, I don't know if they're copywriting the game. I'll actually just do a poll. Which, dude? Because I feel like the majority of the match is kind of kind of is kind of gonna be like lull points. VR charity match. Okay, everybody's saying VR. Oh, my mod already made a poll. Okay, now everybody's voting charity match. How the... Yo, y'all can't make a coherent decision. Nadbury for the sub fat, for the sub jack, for the sub Sam, for the three. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Apollo for the four. How long have I been following? You could check that yourself. The melon for the three. Just casually DM KSI and add for the sub. All right. 56 are saying side men charity match. 44 are saying VR. <laughs> Fuck. Should we do this instead? Random PC games tomorrow. And we tune into the charity match a little bit. Because if I do VR, I can't watch the match at all. Because I'm going to be having, I have a VR headset on. Fuck, what do we do, dude? I, I didn't know the Sidemen. I thought the Sidemen charity match was in like a month. What is the charity for, by the way? Yeah, it's in 16 hours. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, that would be at like a, what, 11? Oh, kickoff is at 3 p.m. BST. 3 p.m. BST to EST. That's 10 a.m. Oh, it might be over by the time I stream. Fuck. Kickoff's at 3 p.m. BST. But the stream starts at like 9 a.m. Stream early as fuck. I'm already streaming early, but I would have to stream mad early for that. Larry McMuffins for the 10 gifted! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Larry McMuffins 5. Dub in the chat for that shit. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Revothy for the sub. Go off for the three. Uh, JCW for the 10. Uh, it's been a bit. How you doing? Kind of sucks being permaban, but it's all right. Uh, what the fuck did you get permaban for? Oh my god, what is your fucking username, dude? There's no user with your username. What is your fucking username, dude? I don't even know what you did. Larry, think of the 10 gifted, though. Uh, Jack for the three. I need some advice. This girl's been messaging me about random stuff. I think she likes me, but she has a boyfriend. Uh, well, tell her that you won't talk to her unless she breaks up with her boyfriend. If she's, if she's talking to you actively, I don't want to say that's sketch, but genuinely, if you're talking to a girl or a guy that actively has a boyfriend or girlfriend, uh, and then they break up with that person to be with you, wouldn't you be a bit worried that they would do the same thing to you? Just saying, right? Just saying. I'm not saying, like, you specifically, right? Like, like you talking to somebody that has a boyfriend or a girlfriend, I think that's kind of a dickhead move, but that doesn't make you a cheater, right? Because you're single. But... If somebody with a boyfriend or girlfriend is actively talking to you and then you date them, like, I would be worried that they would cheat on you. Uh, God, gods and cares re for the sub faithy for the three. My grandpa last month from brain cancer. Uh, F cancer in the chat. Your streams really help me out. Thanks for all that you do. I'm glad I could help and I'm sorry for that. Wobble for the three. Uh, 
wise uh, or wobbles wise word of the day the portuguese word okay i'm just gonna play this <clears throat> everybody everybody pay attention here wobble wise word of the day word the portuguese word saudades represents the intense emotional state of nostalgia or melancholy it is often used to describe the feeling of longing for something or someone that is absent that is absent it is a complex word deeply intertwined to Portuguese and Brazilian culture and perfectly depicts the bittersweet feeling of missing someone or something dearly, but acknowledging the gift of its existence at the same time. P.S. I missed three days because of tasks. You're good, dude. Taco for the sub, Jack for the three. I'm also friends with the boyfriend, so I'd feel bad, but I also kind of like her. You're talking to your friend's girlfriend? Nah. Nah. Yo, that's yo, that's fucking nuts. How, fr how are you acquaintances or are you like friend like genuinely like good friends? Like if y'all hang out and you're talking to his girlfriend, that's fucked, bro. I would tell I would tell if she said she likes you, tell your friend. Oh my god. Bro, and Joe's for another 20k bits. My mom died of cancer, so fuck cancer. Dude, fuck cancer in the chat, literally. I gotta do another fuck cancer charity stream, or just another cancer charity stream in general. I did fuck cancer twice. We could do another specific ca uh, cancer charity stream. When is, uh, when is breast cancer awareness month? That's October. Oh shit, should we do a breast cancer charity stream in October? Because we're doing, um, I'm doing, uh, the suicide prevention one this Sunday. I'm doing the AHA American Heart Association next Friday. And then we could do one in October. That could be the October charity stream. Normally I do one a month, but AHA asked me to do, uh, uh, a specific one for an event. So I'm doing that. Uh, Ducky for the five. Quit talking to your boy's girlfriend number two. I'm going to be here, uh, for you tomorrow, Joe. Okay, duh. Joe Schmuckalozzi for the three. Joe, run a poll to VIP my boy Wobble. He's been fear here for a minute and active like every day for real, for real. Uh, I'll do a poll to, uh, to VIP Wobble. <coughs> Wobble's also a controversial chatter. <laughs> Wobble's been in some chat drama previously with uh, whatever the fucking guy's name is. Vengeance. All right, everybody's voting VIP Wobble. Jesus Christ. All right, I VIP'd him. Lover for the five. Any advice for dealing with a friend who seems really not to care about you? Um, Stop being their friend if they don't care about you. And what do you mean they don't care about you? Like, how do you know your friend doesn't care about you? Like, he, like what's going on, right? Like, my, I can't definitively say if my friends care about me or not. We just hang out. Also, chat, we got to get back into the reacts, okay? But one last thing. Do we watch the Sidemen charity match tomorrow? If we are, I have to go live at like 10 a.m. Uh. I don't know if I'm allowed to watch it. Is the Sidemen charity match copyrighted? Can I watch the Sidemen charity match on stream on Twitch? It'll be live streamed. I don't really want to take views away from it, though. I mean, like, I don't really know if I'm taking views away from it, but I, I would probably add views to it. But uh, you'll need permission. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to. I don't want to do that definitively, right? All right, we'll just do a VR stream tomorrow at 12.30 or 12, probably 12. Ozio's doing it. Don't take the risk. Fuck. Yo, okay, let's get into the reacts. Can one of my mods th like somehow find out if I'm allowed to watch the match or not? If I am, we could watch the match and then do VR. We could do like a 10 a.m. stream, watch the match, uh, and then do VR for like two hours. And then it would be like a longer stream Saturday, but I'd just be live early. P. 
pinned comment. The person that complained about being permabanned was transphobic. Okay. All right. Chat, let's lock back into the fucking video here. Uh, can one of my mods try and figure that shit out? All right. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, he teleported back in time. Man. Neil, I had the craziest... Oh my God, no fucking way! Oh, the time machine worked! Oh my gosh. It worked! Joe, make a move already. Lay off, I will. Dad? Well, you better hurry. All right, she's the new girl in school. All right, so you better act fast before she meets someone else. You're not the only guy who's into her. I get it. Do you? Yo, this it dumbass better help this other kid fucking Riz's his mom. And then he's just not gonna exist. Ew. But if he didn't exist, then he couldn't be there to help his his uh, that guy Riz's his mom, which mean which means he would exist. But then he would go back in time to make himself not not alive anymore, and his parents wouldn't meet. But then he wouldn't exist, which would mean that his parents would get together. <laughs> Wait a minute. They haven't met yet. This kid's actually fucking stupid. I would never, that would be the, if I went back in time, the last thing I would do is try and make it so I didn't exist. <sighs> All right, let's see. Who do we have? His real My dad's old man's the other passing guy. down his multi million dollar company to me once he decides to hang up his boots. You're lucky, man. Hey, what's up, man? Do I know you? Yeah, uh, I'm your future. S Never mind. Uh, see I think I could tank any person in the fucking 70s. If, like, I honestly, dude, what's in people's food and how people grow right now, I think, like, this kid, if he was to fight a high schooler, if he's from 2020 and he's fighting a high schooler from, like, 1970, he would beat the living piss out of them. Like, mo most people. Yeah, there's granted a few kids that are probably, like, like benching 415 but like most people grow at massive rates now pretty girl right there she is super into you man haha <laughs> never talked to her before uh, yeah well uh she's new her name's libby you should go introduce yourself like right now <laughs> i don't know anything about her Okay, well, uh, her favorite color is purple. Um, that's she's fact. a Gemini. She loves pickleball, and her favorite movie is Legally Blonde. Okay. All right. What's pickleball and Legally Blonde? Uh, just compliment her hair, and she'll love you. Okay. All right, go for it, man. Hey, Joey. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. You are. Um, I'm Gordon. Bro, Wait, I man. wish I could go back in time to like the 1600s with an iPhone and just make people have panic attacks. Look at this! Look at the touch screen! Flappy Bird! And it makes no sense to you! You don't understand it at all! You don't even know what you're looking at! <laughs> it's witchcraft! Wait, fam? You would get shot? Yeah, or I'd bring a fucking AR-15 back. What, are they gonna hit me with a fucking pitchfork? You see? What's some crazy shit? What's some shit you could bring back to the 1600s that would make people fucking freak out? It's some sort of technology. A grenade. <laughs> a singular gr A car. A car would be a, a plane. A plane or a car would be fucking nuts. Plane, car, phone... A tank? No, not a tank. I feel like they would be more fascinated by a car. <laughs> a VR headset. Like, yo, they wouldn't give a shit about a VR headset. Oh, look, the new MetaQuest. <laughs> wow, the new MetaQuest 2. Weed? They had... Yo, they had weed in the 1600s, bro. It was just not worldwide available, and it wasn't as strong as it is now. Weed's a plant, dude. You think that just became, like, a thing? A fucking dad pen. 
a neck stick. A fucking a zinner. You bring you know, pack one of these into your fucking lip. I, I don't give you a fuck. You'll start buzzing, bud. Let me tell you right now, you pack one of these into your fucking lip skis. Oh, you're gonna be fucking buzzing, man. <laughs> Shrooms. Neil. Oh my god, yo, all y'all saying shrooms and shit, they had that. Bro, people have been taking hallucinogenics since before Jesus. Dude, it worked, man. I introduced my mom to someone else and whoa. Oh, oh he's gonna look different! Sound like this. Uh it's not just how you sound. Oh, <laughs> I got the new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? I mean, you... He just has different colored hair. <laughs> if I went back in time and then I came back and I had, like, brown hair, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> like, like, that, that would, I wouldn't give a fuck. I have a new dad. What'd you expect? If he had a new dad, bro, he would look entirely different. I'm rich? Oh, this is fire. And I've got a maid? Hey. <laughs> I would never want a maid. I don't know if that's at all relatable, but, like, I would rather clean my house than have some random person come into my house and, like, touch my stuff and, like, clean everything. Ugh. Like, or, or like, or, like, live in maids. Bro, I had I had one friend when I was young that was, like, rich as hell, and he had a live-in maid. And I was just like, yo, isn't this, like, weird? Like, having somebody that, like, you're not even related to that's just, like, living in your house. <laughs> like, like dead-ass just living in your house. And you see them every day. And, like, yeah, they make you breakfast, but, like, <laughs> you're not related to them. Like, at all. <laughs> no way! I have a PS5 and an Oculus? Neil's a genius! <laughs> yes! What do you want from me? You promised you would change. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is that hairdo? Lib. Every rich, successful man cheats. You know what you signed up for when you married me. I married you because I loved you. Not so you could betray me every chance you get. This was the last straw. I want a divorce. Fine. Hope you enjoy losing everything. Did you forget about our little prenup? I don't care about- Bro, that's not how a prenup works. How did Darman fuck that up? That's not how a prenup works. Oh my god, bro. Like, why do I gotta explain this business shit to a fucking multi-million subscriber fucking channel? A prenup only protects shit pre-marriage. A prenup is something you sign that basically protects your assets in case of a divorce from before you're married, right? So if, you're ma if, if you have a million dollars when you're married, right, and you sign a prenup, and then you make $10 million while you're married and you divorce, that million dollars is is yours, right? That $10 million is not protected by a prenup. That is still in, in fucking your mutual income, right? That is still up for grabs. When you get a divorce, that shit is split almost 50 fucking 50, right? The only shit that's protected is what you had before you had a prenup. your money but I could be wrong but I'm almost entirely sure I'm right I'm taking Brandon with me <laughs> no you're not are you playing Subnautica again yeah on Monday it's the Monday game oh yeah well I wonder what the judge is going to think when I tell him you have been unfaithful our entire marriage if you learn nothing they won't care I shocker right the judge won't really give a fuck. They'll slide they'll they'll side towards you, yeah. But like you're still not gonna get everything. I have all the money. I have all the lawyers. You have nothing. 
Cheating will lean towards the uh, the woman if the man cheats. Yeah, no, they'll lean towards the woman in giving them stuff, but like he's still gonna keep the majority of his assets. Everything you have. <laughs> like he's not gonna lose everything he has. He, he might lose 50, 60%. It's because I bought for you. This house, your whole little life. Joe, that's only for women. If the man divorces, he gets less than 50%, if anything at all. My parents are divorced. I <laughs> You're telling me you're telling me something and like you're trying to correct me when like I like dude, I know I know I know so many people that have been through divorces. Yeah, the man gets gets a lot of the stuff that's taken from them. They still keep a lot of their shit, right? Like if you get a divorce, you don't lose everything. You'll lose, like, half of your shit. That's how a divorce works. It depends. Really, it's your divorce lawyer, what you guys agree upon, if there's businesses involved. Usually, if there's a business, like, most of the time, the guy might keep the business and the woman will get all the assets or vice versa. Like, it's, it, it really depends, right? But, like, you're not going to lose everything just because you're a guy. It's all mine. And you can believe me when I say that you're never going to see Brandon again. Now, get out of here. Letting you know a prenup can protect your money while you're married. Oh, prenups can cover a wide range of issues from finances to marital obligations to the relationship itself. Some of the most common things for prenup include division of assets and debt in case of divorce. Prenups can protect both existing and future assets. But generally protect property pre-marriage. Probably clearly outlining which assets are considered separate property and how they're divided in the event of a divorce. Yeah. A prenuptial agreement can specify that each individual is responsible for their own debts and can protect assets accumulated prior to marriage from being used to pay off the other spouse's debt in the event of a divorce. Most prenups are generally protecting of uh, assets accumulated prior to marriage from being used to pay off the other spouse's debt in the event of a divorce. But it seems like you can have a, uh, a prenup to protect future assets, but that's probably like a whole thing. And then, like, then you're getting into the argument of, like, why are you even getting married if you're that free if you're that fucking freaking out about it? You know what I mean? The whole reason you sign a prenup is to protect something that you have now in case they're marrying you for the shit you have now, right? That's the whole point of a prenup, right? Like, I'm going to sign this because if you're marrying me because I have money, you're not going to get that money, right? But why would you sign a prenup for future assets if you're planning on staying with the person, right? The whole point of a prenup is, hey, I'm doing this in case this ends quickly. But otherwise, you would want to keep future assets within you two because, yeah, like, that's a, that's a post-nup. That's what I, I feel like that's just odd. Why would you want to protect future assets? Then why are you even getting married? Like, that doesn't really make sense. All right, let's lock back into the video. Roxy for the five. My parents got divorced. Me and my brother weren't involved whatsoever. It really just depends. Ryan for the sub. I love for the three. Uh, what do you mean? Custody of children? Uh, love your stream. You always make my day, and you really help me because I have depression. Whoever gets the kids usually gets more uh, in a divorce. Flamingo for the sub. Joe's for the five. Not always, though. I think I'm broke. I'm giving you bits, uh, so be grateful. Uh, well, dude, you don't have to give me bits, but thank you for the fucking 500 bitties. Uh... <laughs> I, I, you didn't need to give me that many bits, but I appreciate the fucking bitties, dude. If he went back in time, would it end up in a time loop? Vanox for the sub, Blazing for the sub, uh, K-Man for the sub, Lover for the five. Uh, already read that. All right. Yeah, and child support's a big thing. Child support can really fuck somebody over because it's a percentage of your income, not a base pay, regardless of your income. So, uh, how's the new life? Seems like it's, uh... Terrible. I think. I was way off setting my mom up with that jerk. Oh. Jeez, sorry. Dude, just go back in time. So, uh... What are you gonna do now? The only thing I can do... Go back in time. Watch it not work. 
It's broken. He's going back in time to set him up with another dude? <laughs> Not his dad? Some other random fucking guy? And, like, this is entailing that they'll get married, right? Like, I don't want to say that this, this situation just doesn't make sense. But, like, they're sophomores in high school. Like, the odds they get set up and then get fucked. What are the odds high school relationships end in marriage? Like, 2%? Like, not a lot. 2%. 2% of high schoolers get married. Whereas 19% of those who marry their high school... Oh, wait. 19% of those who marry their high school sweetheart attend college. What percent? Yeah, 2% of high schoolers. What, uh, what percent of college students? I think colleges, it's like one in three. Yeah, 28%. If you're dating somebody in college, there's like a one in three chance you marry them. If you're dating somebody in high school, it's a one in 50. Oh, just date 50 people and then you'll marry one. Ah, it's that simple. Why does he have a PS5 in every fucking scenario? Imagine he spawns one time. Oh, this is an Xbox family. Oh, give me the headset. Oh, give me oh, give me the fucking headset, man. I gotta go back. I don't want to point out a flaw here, but wouldn't his friend not remember him him being, like, going back in time, right? Like, if this scenario, is that TOS? No, it was fake vomit. Because in this scenario, he's going back in time, changing who his father is, somehow still being alive, when genetically that would make no fucking sense whatsoever. Uh, so we're just going to, we're going to slide past that part, right? Even though he has a literal different dad. He's still alive, right? <laughs> but let's just say, let's just move past that point, right? He's alive, even though he has a different dad. His friend would would be meeting a different person, right? Like he wouldn't remember the fact that he went back in time and changed who his father was. <laughs> You're telling me this kid gives her a rat and then they get married. Like, what? Bro, like, the majority of these relationships will just end in them not even fucking dating. My mother took everything my father had going on for uh, from him other than his car to other few things. Thankfully, my father won custody of me. We lived in a car for a few weeks until he started a clothing brand. Most of the time, the women will take 65 to 80% of the shit. It really, it depends on the situation. It depends on what people have. It depends on why you got divorced. It depends on the lawyer that you have. Like saying most, say, like lumping it in like, oh, the woman's always going to take the shit. That's not always true, right? Like I'll Google it, but I mean, that's not even going to be definitive. It, it it doesn't even it doesn't even have a genuine statistic because you can't definitively like where can I ask where you're getting women take sixty five to eighty percent of the shit like where is that statistic coming from 
other than personal experience, right? Because, like, I know, like, eight different people that have gotten divorced. So 16 people, right? Eight different people. It, and every, every scenario, yeah, like, more, more than not, women get more of the shit. But, like, not always. And not 80% of the shit all the time. It really depends. My parents divorced and my mom and dad got 50-50. That's what I'm saying. And it also depends on if they agree on it, right? A lot of divorces are smooth and easy. They divide up the assets 50-50 and they part ways. Sometimes it goes into a grudge where they have to legally argue on what people should get. That's where everything changes, right? Uh, Taz for the three. First time getting vets, so at least I'm giving it to the right person. Love you, Joe. Wrath for the sub. One brazen for the three. Uh, PH for the sub. Robbie for the sub. Here's my watch time pay. What does that even mean? Uh, Ducky for the five. Go take Brooke somewhere nice. Thank you for the five, man. I'll, I'll go get her a plushie from five below. <laughs> no, but thank you for the five, dude. I actually appreciate that. Uh, Anthony for the one. Uh, Emmy for the three. Funniest shit is that Vengeance did everything in his power to ruin Wobble and all Vengeance efforts to ban Wobble got him VIP in a national stream title. Or a nation stream tradition. If I was Vengeance, I would be livid. Rexy for the five. Uh, I already read that. And Ducky for the five. All right. My parents divorced and they still share everything. Yeah, sometimes they won't eat. They'll still keep everything. It depends on the relationship. That's what I'm saying. Some parents will divorce and they'll just like, yeah, we'll keep the joint account. We'll still just mutually uh, raise our children. There's no guaranteed statistic. I could say in my own personal viewpoint, yeah, like sometimes the woman gets the woman gets more than the man. But I mean, like in my scenario, in my parents, that's the opposite of what happened, right? But that's just it, it varies, right? Uh, you can't definitively pinpoint it. I don't want to I don't want to be a dumbass here but like if he's mad that his parents are broke why doesn't he just go back in time and do something to where they would be rich instead of trying to get a different dad Like like why doesn't he go back and like bet on a horse race or set or like walk up walk up to his dad and say Bet on blank. Bet on the Patriots to win this Super Bowl. Put everything on it. Put everything on first touchdown fucking blank in whatever date. You missed Jack Pacooler's bets. Joe's yummy toast for the thousand, but he says oink and tiles for the sun. What did Jack say? <laughs> I have my first period with him and help him with his homework. That's it. Oh, well, then you're not friends. You're acquaintances. But still, don't talk. Like, bro, like, I, I mean, wait until they break up or some shit. Try. Hunt for the three. Hey, Joe, my first time getting bits. Love your bits. Thank you. That actually helped. <sighs> I've gone through so many dads, and every time my life gets worse. Way worse. Well, you can't keep trying to get it right forever. In fact, based on my calculations, oh, you, only, have you have one more use of this helmet. Two jumps left. Oh, uh, one jump. Yeah, now nah, you got one jump left, and it'll automatically bring you back here before it dies. You will have no control over it. I mean, zero. All right. Well, looks like I better make this build another one, dude. You're telling what, what is the what is this, the last Nokia in the world? This one count. <sighs> oh man. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing in here? What? Come on, school's over. Computer lab's closed. Scram. Over? But it can't be. Oh no. Send me to the wrong point in time? Huh? <gasps> 
so. Time? No, no, no. I'm too late. You and me. If I can just go back in time a little further. This is bad. Real bad. Oh. Hey, you know Joey, right? Uh, yeah. What's up? What's up? It doesn't matter. Do you know where he is? Like, right now? No. My whole future depends on this, man. Oh, it's you. Finally. He went to his house? Do I know you? Yes and no. But there's no time for that because... What? Whoa. This is where you live? You're having cereal with water? That's what we got. Dude, cereal with water? I'd rather eat that shit dry. Wait, I need you to come with me. Like, right- Dude, literally, what the fuck is the point of putting water in it? now what where uh you know libby right water cereal oh my god the new girl she really wants you to ask her out on a date like now really yeah and and, and go where uh the mall because she has another day and you have to ask her before the other day asks her other so, day yeah uh i'll explain on the way wait do you have any other clothes maybe about holes in it uh no not really Come on, come on. Oh, perfect. She's alone. I'm just supposed to go up to her and say what? Uh, compliment her hair. Oh, and mention her braided bracelet. Don't worry, the rest will take care of itself. How can you be so sure? Just trust me. Okay. Oh, no. I'd just go fucking fist fight that guy, straight up. If I had to do this so I would fucking be alive... I would just straight up for no reason just fist fight that guy. Like a hundred percent. I just be I I would I just I just throw I just throw down, right? What else are you gonna do? You don't need to distract him. You're never gonna see the guy again. What? Okay, listen, I'm gonna distract him. You go talk to him. Oh my Lydia. god, distract him. Just fucking just literally tackle him into another room and just beat the shit out of him. Okay, don't screw this up. You're both like what else, dude? It's life show. or death. Riding on it. Okay. What does that mean? Hey, Richie, right? Um, I, I have a really important message uh, from your dad. It's, it's about your uh, inheritance. What are you talking about? Um, look, man, he uh, needs to talk to you, like, right now. I tell him his dad died. Yeah, he said, uh, he, you don't... <laughs> Richie, Richie! I mean, like, like, what else are you gonna? You gotta tell him some shit that's gonna actually convince him. Go home, dude. You're out of his will. Everything's gone. Why would he believe this random guy? Sorry, man. The... What? No. 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 Please, it's too soon. Not yet. No. 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 <sighs> They're not more shocked. Oh, thank you. Thank his you. dad would re another plot flaw, bitch. His dad would remember him. His dad, his dad would be like, "Oh my god!" Like as his kid was getting older, you're the fucking kid that time traveled. You got it. It's all back to normal. You're back. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> Yo, this video has ten thousand plot flaws. I need a Matt Pat debunking video of this. I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> Look, uh, son, uh, your mom and I have been talking, and we feel really bad about the whole phone. I, I don't care. I don't care about the phone, or the shoes, or the food, or any of it. I'm just so happy you two are my parents. I love you guys so much. Oh, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> we love you too. What changed? You were so mad at us earlier. <laughs> I guess I just realized sometimes you don't know what you have until it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a big uh, change of heart. Just one day. Well, 
Feels I swear bit. to God, if the dad doesn't remember that, it doesn't remember that his son fucking teleported. A longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> And he doesn't remember him? Oh, hey, why am I in the photo of you guys when you were fucking 20 years younger? 56, uh, 56 for the sub, uh, or 562 Johnny for the sub, gold for the four. Is it okay if I call you Joey, TJ for the three? Uh, what did the dad remember this? That's what I'm saying. Wraith for the sub, uh, Hunt for the three. First time giving bits, love your streams, uh, and Joe's for the sub, or for the thousand bitties. All right. Next vid. I don't like uncircumcised men. The button. Hold on to my wrist and I'll show you something. Okay. Right? So leverage with wrist. And you can't really hold on to me, right? Okay. And I could I could give you one of those. Welcome to the button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for ten minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. On this episode of the button. The two holding rooms. Oh, they drankin'. Oh, they fucking drankin'. Yeah, they got that lean. They got that lean in the cup. Yeah, they got that lean. Some liquid courage. The fucking. Yeah, they got that lean. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> they got that fucking perp drank. That walkie slush. Give them some fucking motivation to go out. Say some crazy shit on the button. Be able to watch live feeds of our dates in the studio. You know, I'm, I'm a Scorpio. Talking. I'm nasty. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, oh. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. My name is Reed. Reed, I'm yeah. Shay. Uh, I can't lie, I'm so nervous. <laughs> like, they're watching us, you know? That's kind of weird. Let's that's be different, together. You know? So, Inhale. You know. Exhale. Yeah. Uh. Fun fact about Shakira, she likes to fight and she's a mom. Oh, you be beating your kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think whoopings are abuse. Like, Reed, do you agree? Uh, I have a terrible Are whoopings abuse To what extent Yeah if you're Punching your child that's abuse Right Like flat out if you're punching Your kid you're abusing your child Right but like If it's like a fucking Spanking I wouldn't say that's abuse I would say it's still not the best Parenting but like If your kid like Goes and like if you have, like, a, a, a kid, right, and he picks up a vase and just goes, wham, and smacks that shit on the ground right in front of you, and you give him a spanking, is that abuse? I would, I, I, I don't know. Like, how, in that, okay, like, in that exact scenario, what else are you doing to raise your child correctly, right? Right in front of you. They go like this. And fucking, like, break it, right? Like, what are you going to say? Bad. That's not good. Stand in the corner. Yeah, there it is. Stand in the corner with soap in your mouth. Yep. That's the worst. Bro, that, okay, you're right. Yeah, that's the worst punishment. Oh, that's the fucking worst punishment. Y'all ever had to stand in a corner? Oh, my God. Yo, that shit was, like, death. That was, like, a death sentence. When you were, like, five. Like, 20 minutes in the corner. Shit felt like an eternity, dude. You're sitting there, you're just like, and you turn around. <laughs> Yo, you're sitting there, you turn around, and they're like, stop it! And you have to t you have to face the wall. You're so fucking stupid. Fucking sit in the corner here. I didn't even fucking do anything. <laughs> you, get, you get mad as hell. You fucking bored. Soap in the mouth. That's like an, a, that's like an old people thing. I never had to stand in a corner with a soap in my mouth, but that was like, like some, if you ask your grandparents, they could probably tell you, like, they had to stand at a corner with soap in their mouth or some shit. I don't know why that's a thing, but I used to hear that all the time. Dylan, uh, for the sub. I was saying, I, I beat children. I'm you sorry, beat children? But I have no kids. <gasps> Let me say you what have. That sounds bad. <laughs> a little bit. I, uh, <laughs> I actually, like, never really hit a child. But, but you believe in it, is what you're saying. Yes, okay. when I okay. have children, that's, okay. that's big. Okay. You know? Nah, I don't think that, I think you should get, uh, I don't think you should ever beat a child, right? I could understand a form of spanking as, like, a way to raise a kid, but I think there are better ways to do it. 
uh, rather than like beating, not beating, spanking your child, right? Like I think there's other forms of punishment to instill a set of values outside of hitting them, right? Dylan for the sub. Now, I, I will say, if you're in public or some shit and your kid does something stupid and you go, like, and you, and you like, hit him in the arm or some shit, I, that's not beating, right? Like, I've seen people say that's beating. That's not fucking beating, right? Somebody redeemed flex. Like, if you're in public and your kid just starts fucking cursing or screaming or some shit and you slap him in the arm, like, that's just, like, telling him to shut up, right? Ooh. Oh. Why, why, why? What do you mean, why? It just felt like I needed to, to be honest. I don't fuck with that. Me neither. Thanks for understanding, but... So I think a big thing is uh, the look that moms give when you're young. Like when you're in public and you do something wrong and they go like this. And you look at them and then it's like the fear of God has, has, reached, has reached you, right? that like the silent look in public and you're just standing there and you're like four years old and you're just like, <laughs> oh my God, you're, cause you're like, Oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Something's about to happen. It's like, it's like the anticipation. It's like, it, like it gives you anxiety. I didn't want to interrupt your hit with the button. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just messing. <laughs> you don't think you're more important than the button? I mean, that's up to you, right? Totally. Okay. What is going on with this no, hair, though? The hair, the nails. Okay. <laughs> Everything. She said all of it. I'm in software engineering, bartending. Okay. Yeah. That's what's awesome. going on with his hair? His hair looks good. The fuck? Bro said, what's going on with his hair? What do you do? I have a dream of being a bartender. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's your, what, okay, what's your go-to drink? Uh, my go-to drink is probably a margarita right now. I make the best margaritas. Ooh, yeah. do you? Oh, really? You make the best margaritas? All you gotta do is fucking put uh, margarita mix in tequila. <laughs> it's really not that hard to make a margarita. All you gotta do, margarita mix, tequila, salt the rim. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of lime juice. That's it. That's literally it. Okay. Flowers. Oh, yeah. Are you circumcised? <laughs> <laughs> Are you circumcised? Well, that's, like, that's like a really weird question to ask on a first date. Hey, How are we in there? Shakira does not like a man who's uncircumcised. She wrote that in as one of her as one of her stipulations. When she filled out the form for this show. One of the things she thought of that was really important to her was that they had to be circumcised. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm circumcised. That's what you told her when you signed up? They were like, tell, tell me about yourself. I can't oh have a man who's God. uncircumcised. Okay. You've had a bad experience with I someone. Have. I don't even want to hear about it, to be but honest. What? You don't have to. But like, what happened to where she's, like, freaking out about it? to talk about it no, we can yeah. act like <laughs> like nothing doesn't happened. know like how do you feel about kids i have a child you have a child i have a child is that your like deal breaker oh. you don't date people with kids it's my last relationship she had a kid and it kind of like deterred me away from like that kind of lifestyle if you don't mind me asking mm -hmm. what was the like hang up 40 hours of my week is working from home mm -hmm. so i would be like the babysitter no. Yeah, kind of got a little confusing when it came to the topic of discipline. Mm. Was she a gentle parent? Ooh, yeah, because you're not their dad. Ooh, that's a rough one. Any anybody here have step parents? Because that's like that's like if you have a if you have a step parent, they can't really get mad at you, right? They can get mad at you, but they can't like enforce anything because you're they're they're not your dad. They're not your mom, right? At the end of the day, you don't. And I mean, for some people, if they've been your step parent for so long or you're really close with them, you might call them mom or dad. But like for most people, you usually refer to your step parent as their name, right? Like, yeah, they're your stepmother or your stepfather, but they're not your parent, right? They're just your dad's or your mom's significant other. Hunt for the son of Marion for the three. Corporal punishment doesn't. Just doesn't uh, statistically work. It builds uh, resentment, and they want to act out more. Kids act out, and you, as the adult, uh, shouldn't lose your temper or beat your kid ever. You could get mad at your kid, but I wouldn't say beating them is ever the right thing to do. Hollow for the sub. 
I think getting them to I think getting a child to realize why they shouldn't do specific things is the way to go rather than like hey if you do this you're gonna get beaten right because that's not instilling why they shouldn't do that rather than just having a conversation with your child which is hard to do if they're like four but uh yes okay yeah you're spot on with that step parent shit oh I wonder why <laughs> <laughs> he was spoiled because of it. Okay. Thank you. I'm I, think no, awesome. I wasn't doing my time. Yeah, yeah no, but... <laughs> don't be sorry. Don't be sorry at all. Yeah. You're next. I, I guess. I don't want to date him. I'm digging the blue. Thank you. What's your name? Anita. Tristan. Nice to meet, oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So something they say we shouldn't talk about on dates Ooh. is money and politics. Ooh. But it's on my dating show, I like you to do. talk about both. Okay. You know how like there's that one song <clears throat> that goes like, it's not about the money, money, money. Mm. You can uh, forget about the problem. It is about the money at the end of the day. Money's a big thing as in a part of a relationship. It doesn't matter how much you make, but how how you both handle your own finances is a massive relationship thing. You don't need to be rich, right? That's not like what it, like, I, I feel like a lot of people assume when somebody says money matters in a relationship, they're uh, insinuating that, you have to be wealthy, which is untrue. But how you both talk about your finances, your couple's finances, matters, right? Especially if people make different salaries because you both have to have a joint share in how you distribute payments, how you're both working, what goes to what, right? Because if you're in a relationship where somebody's making drastically more than you, you're not going to be required to pay. You're not paying as much as them, right? You're going to be paying more, but how you distribute that percentage-wise and how you both handle your income is something that does matter, right? And when people says it, say it doesn't and then they try to not talk about it, like, if you're ever going to be in a long-term relationship with somebody, you have to figure out how you're going to split up things. That's just a fact. So you don't care about money too much. Uh, 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 Politics, on the other hand, doesn't really matter as long as you're okay with somebody having different political views than you. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and how you raise your child. But to that... I say that shouldn't matter, right? A lot of people say, oh, I don't care what somebody thinks politically as long as they allow me to raise my child under a certain political viewpoint. No. It's same thing with religion, right? I mean, like, religion, it's a whole different ballgame, but for me personally, it shouldn't be, oh, as long as I get to raise my kid under this belief system. Your kids should just be raised. They should have their own belief system, right? They should believe whatever they want to believe. You should unfold them all of the belief systems, all of these ideas, and they should be allowed to foster and have their own beliefs, right? You shouldn't instill that on your child and make them a mini you. While they are a mini you, they should be their own person, right? Too many people try to instill their beliefs on their children. I said, do you know the song? <laughs> That's a mid-take. I mean, you could say it's a mid-take. I know a lot of people disagree with that. I know a lot of people want to raise their kid under the exact belief system they have, and that's fine, right? It's your kid. I'm just saying I'm not going to do that when I have a fucking kid. <laughs> it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to be my kid, right? When I have my kid, my kid's going to be raised to the effect where they're allowed to believe what they want to believe. I think only rich people say money doesn't matter. Money right. gets you clothes, food, gas, rent. Mm -hmm. Like, so, so I what don't... do you do? Ooh, I work at Mercedes Benz. Oh, you're a I'm in car. Sales. Yeah, you're in sales. Yeah. Make some good money. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Tristan, are you okay if your partner makes more money than you? If they don't hold it above my head. Oh yeah. How do you feel about guns? I've had a lot of fun with guns, yeah. but I don't understand the obsession with them. Yeah. You can do whatever. I would exactly agree with that. Like, I've shot guns. They're fun. But, like, people that make owning guns their personality, like, dog, it's not that fun, right? Like, I've shot guns. In all honesty, I'd rather go paintballing. If you gave me the option of going paintballing or going to a shooting range, I would go paintballing 100% of the time. You can have your guns. Don't shoot anybody. Oh, yeah. Don't affect air Airsofting? I hate airsoft. I know that's a bad take, too. I just fucking hate airsoft. I don't like the mini pellets. I think paintballing's just, like, more... I don't know, more... I don't want to say more strategy, because it's not. Airsofting's more strategy. But paintballing's more of, like, a run-and-gun thing. Me don't affect, uh, like, negatively on other people. Oh, no! I just don't see, like, the romantic spark. Yeah. That's what was missing. <laughs> 
This is weird. Why am I too nice? That's what I told you. I'm too fucking nice. What's your name? Rashida. Nice to meet you. Rashida. Tristan. Nice to meet you. Are you originally from Seattle? No, I'm from the Bahamas. Oh, nice. I'm from Dominica. Okay. So tell me a little bit about you, though. Like. I go for really long walks. I'm not quite like a hiker, but I like to walk around the city. Wow, that's really like the opposite of what I do. Uh, what, what do you do? I'm very much like a homebody. I like mm. um, cooking, so I spend a okay. lot of time in the kitchen. Oh. She put the button. She put the button. It was nice to meet you. I hate how they gang up on the other person. Like, why do they do that? Like, like let them talk. They could have maybe fucking worked, right? I know that, that she was a homebody, so it didn't end up happening, right? But, like, in every Button episode, they're always like, oh, get him out, get him out. Like, this ain't a game show, bro. You're supposed to actually meet somebody you like. You too. <laughs> Not okay? No. I feel like he was just a little too slim, and I'm just, I just wasn't feeling like... She said he's too like slim? Not a dreadlock Bro, he was jacked. Yo, his dreadlocks look dope. I am. I have dated people with dreadlocks. I just didn't like his dreadlocks. I'm Jared. Rashida, nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Wow. So, fun fact about Jared. He actually likes to make weapons and play with them. What kind of weapons? Knives. Oh, a couple bombs. Uh, you know, I got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff. Um, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> by the way, um, but... Years, like uh, my family comes from Mindanao. A couple nuclear, a couple nuclear devices. You know, I split the hydrogen atom in my own free time. Um, Which is a very indigenous headhunting part of, of the Philippines. So I have a lot of old weapons, and I like the aesthetic of traditional weaponry. Jared, can you show us some of the martial arts moves? Yes, I'm please. Like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> actually, please. How about this? Hold on to my wrist, and I'll show you something. Okay. okay. So leverage with wrist. And you can't really hold on to me, right? Okay. And I could, I could give you one of those. I hate when people show like I have. I have a friend that always puts me in these scenarios, and he's like, "All right, give me your hands. All right, not like that. All right, not like that. All right, now stand like this. Now, when I have you in this position, you're not going to be able to get out of this." And I'm like, "Yeah, no shit. Like, how are you going to get me in this position, though? Like, if." Like, he never shows me how he would get me to the point of being like this or some shit. He's always like, well, if I have you like this, you can't get out of it. Yeah, no no shit, dumbass. But if we're sitting in a street fight and I, I got my fists up, I'm not going to let you fucking, I'm not going to let you fucking twist my arms while I'm like standing like this. So I can't fucking move. <laughs> you know what I mean? Outside of creating the weapon. I spar three times a week, dude. No, I would get my shit clapped by people that know MMA. I'm not dissing MMA. I'm just saying my friend that does that, I'm like, yo, yeah. But, like, you don't know martial arts. It also mentioned. I, I spar three times a week, let's box. Bro, I'd probably get my shit kicked in. Yo, how tall are you, Aiden? I'm confident that I could win in boxing matches against most people. But street fight capabilities, I would be lacking. Like, any sort of wrestling, I, I can't do, right? I want to learn jujitsu so bad, though. So then if I ever get in a bar fight, I just, like, pull out the fucking capabilities. And I'm like that. I, and then people are like... Because I just fucking pop some guy's eyeball out or some shit. I'm 5'5"? Five, five? Oh, yeah. Now, if we... I think if we boxed, I would beat you. Uh, how much do you weigh? Maybe not, dude. You might be, you might be like, some, like, you might be, like, some powerhouse type shit. You could be Connor, probably not. Playing with the weapons, mm -hmm. and I feel like I need to know a little more about the play board. It's kind of like if, a, if you build a car, you want to take it for a test drive. So that's how right I. Right now, one seventy. I'm cutting. Oh, you only weigh you only weigh like six pounds less than me. I weigh like one seventy six right now. I'm about a bulk. Press myself physically when it comes to. I had two McRiddles today for breakfast. Yo, come to find out, those bitches have yo chat. I, I don't want to say McDonald's is, like, absurdly unhealthy, and I didn't know that because it was kind of obvious, but it was, like, some items on the McDonald's menu are so much more unhealthy than you would ever imagine. Like, look at one McRiddle. One McRiddle has 71% of your daily value for cholesterol. And, where is it? In 46% of your saturated fats. Like, that's crazy. And it's, like, this big. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh no. no. Wait, what? 
would you press me? I feel like a lot was being said, but not a lot was being said. The answers were very vague. I wasn't getting yeah, to know get who that. you are. Yeah. You're very cute. My name's Casey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I moved to Seattle from New York about a year ago, um, but I'm originally from the Caribbean. Okay. I like cooking. That's important. Food's everything. Casey, <laughs> so do you like to eat? Look at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good one, man. If you had to pick a food to describe your sex life, what food would it be and why? Ooh, it would be something. How do you pick that? What food would describe your sex life? What does that even mean? <laughs> One of them's gonna say a hot pepper. I'm gonna go ghost pepper. It'd be something spicy, huh? Wet and messy. She, she about to say, she about to say some gross shit. She about to say like fucking, <laughs> like clam chowder. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> she said wet and messy. Yo, you heard that? Hey! in the back are like, what the fuck? Casey, do you like wet and messy? I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> okay, how would you describe your sex life? I'm a Scorpio. Me. I'm nasty. Oh my God! Stop bringing up zodiac signs, bro. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Ooh. That's a good question because it's not going to replicate like my nastiness. I haven't done everything that I'm willing to do. You know what I'm saying? But I got to hit the button, though. You are cool. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't necessarily see it going okay. forward. But Stop saying it looks like DJ Khaled. Too. Right, bro, it, he looks nothing like DJ Khaled, bro. Because because he got a beard and waves. Is your like deal breakers? I'd say somebody that's like just not honest at all. Like there's no reason to lie. He does look more like Drewski. That's the only one. Honestly, that's yeah. That's it. That's it. What's yours? I feel like confidence is a big thing. Um, I don't like possessive people. Yeah, this is coming from a past. You know what I'm saying? All I right. just know what I don't like. At Tell this me point. more. Oh, you don't want to about that. I want uh, to. <laughs> you know, experiences teach you what you either want or don't want. I just know what I don't want. You ain't never been with somebody that's like semi controlling or something, or like. I mean, that's good. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish that on you. I've only really encountered it one time, but I just know it never again. All right. <laughs> What's up? Ask her if you're her type. Am I your type? For sure. I like the teddy bear type. So. Okay. This is this is definitely my type. Okay. What do you think she's attractive? She is attractive. She got a nice smile. He know about he know, he know about nothing about this woman. He knows, he knows what she looks like. He just talked, yo, oh my God. Oh yeah, I like her. Bitch, you know her name, you, you, you know her name. Like, what the fuck? Oh, nice you. lips and stuff, like, yeah. Appreciate it. Are you ever cheating on somebody? I have not. What well, was that pause for? What was that fucking pause for? I feel like you kind of like- I didn't. Was I it didn't. like a almost or something? It wasn't, I didn't, never cheated. What does that mean? Never cheated. You guys weren't like officially together or something? You feel me? Oh, so, well, so, you know, so there's a little more well, to the story. So, like, well, so, you know, just well, I mean, because some people consider it cheating if you're talking to somebody else in the talking phase, right? Whereas some people don't, right? When you're dating, if you talk to somebody else, that's definitively cheating, right? But some people don't define cheating as you're talking to somebody because if you're not dating, but you're also flirting with somebody else while you're hanging out with somebody else, like, that's not, like, would you guys consider that cheating? If you flirt with somebody else while you're hanging out and talking to somebody, but you're not dating yet. I would say no. I would say you should mitigate how much you flirt with other people if you are beginning to talk to somebody, right? Like, when you're starting to get, like, to like somebody and you're going on dates with them, I would say cut, like, start dropping people that you're flirting with, right? But... That doesn't mean just because it's not cheating in most people, in some people's eyes, not most people's eyes, because I don't know. But uh, that doesn't mean, oh, you could just still, like, just because you're not dating, you could go around and, like, talk to whoever the fuck you want. Because there still has to be some sort of loyalty, but it doesn't have to be definitive because you're not dating yet. Uh, Cut to Aiden for the five gifteds. Uh, or the three gifteds. Thank you for the three gifteds, Aiden. Uh, Deported and Billy for the sub-Vancy for the sub-Mr. Go for the sub-Salty for the three. 
Why won't you ever read my full name? Because your name is Salty Wiener. Uh, uh, ZR and AK for the sub, hunt for the sub. It's a little break. Yo, it was mutually on a break. For sure. It shows you're a player. Yeah, it shows you're a player. If you're if you're actively talking to somebody and hanging out with them and you're flirting with like five other people, it makes you seem like a player. Even if you're not cheating on them, it makes you seem like a player. Now, if you're like talking to somebody and you're like having a conversation with another woman that you've like talked to previously, I would not consider that cheating. But when you're dating, you definitely don't do that. Um, but in the talking phase, you're not definitively with that person. Yo, what's up, Point Crow? Was... Were you guys like still messing with each other during the break? Somebody <laughs> said, bro, watch the video. Stop talking. Yo, little Joe Bart salute to that dickhead. Time him out for an hour. You'll be back by by fucking two hours into stream. Too many questions. Okay. Yeah. The she's she's pushing it. It. No, I don't think she's pushing it. She's pushing it. I just want to hear like the story. But that's the truth. Get into the whole story. I feel like that's true. A break for sure. <sighs> Bro, why is he freaking out about it? Like he asked her, "Have you ever cheated?" And she said, "No." And then she was like, "Well, it was in the talking phase," and he's like held up on it. You're oh, right, she got right. the fuck up! She's feeling it. Bro, this is gonna be a day. Hey. Hey. I think I have a way to help solve this. What's, uh -huh. what's the question? So I'm gonna say a list of scenarios, mm. and you will each say true or false. People should be friends with their exes. False. False. You be doing this high smile. I said false. <laughs> For sure. Women can't have too. Yeah, now that's crazy. I would never be okay with that. I would never be okay with that. Straight up. Like, would y'all be fine if your significant other was, like, friends with their ex? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> like, oh, fuck no, dude. Like, friends with somebody that they previously, like, or, like, acquaintances with somebody that they previously, like, flirted with is, like, a different scenario. Like, I can understand where, like, you being around them isn't necessarily bad. But, like, if you dated somebody else and now you're dating someone, you should not be friends with your ex. Bro, not for the thousand biddies. Uh, Joe Schmosh boshling high and listening to sad music is sad in the sadness. Dipple for the five. How's your day? Also love the streams. Luca for the three. Do you eat pineapple and pizza? I will. I don't think it's bad. Like a pineapple and ham? Yeah, friends. Like a Hawaiian pizza is pretty good. False. Mm, that's like a situational thing. It depends on how she acts with her guy friends. If I see something that's red flaggish and I address it and I don't feel like... I'm being hurt enough for it to have been addressed, then it's a problem. Sex on the first date is okay. I mean, shit, you hit it off, you hit it off. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm I don't pro. think sex on the first date is bad, but it's not a good, it's not, it's not a bad sign, but it's not a good sign for the relationship. You know what I mean? It's not bad or good. It's neither. I, 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 I don't like when people are like, oh, that means you're not going to work. Because that's not true, but I feel like, eh, I don't know. Also, chat one or two, I got to post on TikTok. Forgot I had a fucking post. Also, the queen died a year ago today. Rip in the chat. Had to repost that. I, I never repost TikToks, but I reposted the TikTok of me saying the queen died. Because that shit popped up on my TikTok memories, and I was like, no fucking way, that was a year ago. I posted a TikTok about Arizona and how it's 110 degrees there, and somebody said 110 degrees isn't that hot. What crack shit are you on, bro? Everybody's saying two. Chat, what, what temperature is hot? Above 85. It really depends on the humidity, too. But above 85. Twenty degrees? What the fuck? Are oh, you mean Celsius? But I say, what the fuck are you talking about? All right, hold up. I got to post real quick. All right, here we go. Back to the bed. Jake for the sub. No choice. You know what I'm saying? If, if we both can salty for the three. All jokes aside, I want to say I appreciate you. Sometimes my days just be city, uh, shitty, and seeing your YouTube note actually makes me happy to the point that my girlfriend is used to hearing me say, "Oh my God, Joe posted." Bro, that's a dub. Gutsy for the sub. You see it? <laughs> 
Then we fucking. <laughs> <Like, laughs> <laughs> 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 Cheated on Brody, man. Cheated on Brody. I never cheated. Yeah. She can cheat on me. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna stick with it, huh? Huh? You gonna stick with that? I am. <laughs> Bro, I kind of believe that she ain't cheat though. I feel like it was probably like complicated. You know what I mean? Like they were about a date. Casey, I don't understand what happened. Uh, or when they were on a break or some shit. <laughs> She's hella cool. Um, I just feel like she may have possibly been. Yeah, no lie, he fumbled though. I don't know why he wouldn't go on the date with her. Just talk about it then, bro. Back a little bit of truth, maybe. We're gonna have to end today because we got no matches. All right. Damn. Damn, that fucking sucks. No, what's up, I done for the fucking five. Thank you, I done sparse for the five gifted. Appreciate that shit. Jake for the sub and Big Oof for the three. Uh, my boyfriend hangs out with his ex all the time, uh, but now she is lesbian. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> that's a whole different scenario, okay? I, <laughs> if she's a lesbian now, that's different. I would still say... I, I don't know if I'd be comfortable with that, but, I mean, obviously, that's not... I would be more comfortable than if she wasn't a lesbian, right? Big oof for the three. All right, the Florida Man Diaries. Next vid. Dude, we got to crank these out. We're only fucking two vids in in an hour and 45. What are you streaming tomorrow? VR. I'll be live at like 1230 tomorrow. It's going to be a VR day doing Creed boxing and... um, What's it called? Creed boxing and uh, the last VR job sim. We're probably going to... It'll probably be the last stream of both games. Uh, and then Sunday, I'll be live doing... Uh, or actually, would y'all rather do random PC games or would y'all rather do VR? Let me actually do a poll. Which tomorrow? VR random PC day. Yo, vote on that. We'll do that, uh, for tomorrow. Uh, that whatever wins we'll do tomorrow. Uh, Sunday I'll be live at 2. I'll be live tomorrow early at 12 for whatever the fuck my chat votes. They're voting random PC day. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do the VR day another day. Uh, probably next Saturday. Anyways, uh, random PC day tomorrow, uh, where we'll probably play a bunch of the games that I have downloaded, uh, where I have good, good pizza, great pizza, uh, radical relocation, um, my child Le Lebensborn remastered, you could probably do a bit of the coin game, it'll just be a whole variety game day. Uh, and then we maybe we might end with whatever the fuck chat wants. That'll just be uh, tomorrow a bunch of random games. Um, Sunday I'll be live at two. Uh, tomorrow at twelve. Uh, Sunday at two I'll be doing reacts. Uh, it'll be the charity stream for suicide prevention. Uh, that'll be a longer stream, probably like four hours maybe. Uh, Monday I'll be live at four thirty for Subnautica again. Tuesday I won't be live. Wednesday I'll be Joyville the scary game, and then horror reacts. Uh, Thursday, I'll be half Fortnite and then half Miles Morales. We're going to continue Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Uh, and then next Friday, Reacts. Next Saturday, we'll probably do the VR. And we're going to start a prison sim soon. Do y'all want to do prison sim tomorrow or random PC day? That could be in the random PC day. The charity match? The charity match is at 10 a.m. I'll add the charity match. Sidemen charity match! Sidemen char Sidemen charity match! Sidemen, cha Sidemen charity match. Sidemen charity match. Fuck. Vote on that. Whatever wins on that, we'll do tomorrow. Noah for the three. Chat, if I do the Sidemen Charity Match watch party, I have to be live at 10 a.m. It starts at 10 a.m. All right, let's lock in for the video here while they fucking vote. Noah for the three. Hope you're uh, doing good. Love the content. Can't wait for Spider-Man on Thursday. Well, it'll be the second half of the stream. Billy for the three. You like the new Fortnite season? Uh, I don't know if I played it yet. I think I have. I don't know for sure. I haven't played Fortnite in a bit. The Florida Man Diaries. Lock in here, chat. Oh, say can you see a oh, brother? 
America, the land of the free. A collection of 50 different unique states, each offering up a variety of beautiful locations. The sprawling mountain ranges of Utah, the iconic city skyline of New York, or the vast deserts of Nevada, just to name a few. Not to mention the number of iconic lands. Somebody said, who the fuck is voting prison sim? The majority of my chat. Who the fuck is voting prison sim? 57, 56% of my chat is voting prison sim. Billy for the three. Nah, he's British, so you don't want to watch it because he's fucking British. We'll do a random PC game day tomorrow. Okay, I'll do prison sim either next week uh, or the week after that. I know people are voting prisons. Ugh, fuck. All right, we'll do this. I don't know what I want to do. Nah, we'll do random PC game today. Or tomorrow. We'll do a random PC day tomorrow. Uh, we want prison sim. We'll do prison sim at some point. Maybe tomorrow, but I want to start out with different games. Is that fine, chat? Do the prison sim tomorrow. What was the point of the poll then? Uh, in all honesty, to see if people voted for the Sidemen charity match, and like no one did. Uh, so we're definitely not going live at 10 a.m. Uh, I'll be live at like 12.30 tomorrow. We voted for prison sim. All right, we're doing one more poll. Everybody shut the fuck up and vote. Everybody shut the fuck up. Stop bitching. Vote. Marks dotted across the 9.8 million square kilometers of American soil. But there is one state. One state shrouded in a blanket of mystery. A state that stands out for a number of reasons. I'm gonna do prison- Oh my god, I'm rewinding. I'm rewinding because we're not even watching the fucking video. I'm gonna do prison sim one day if I don't do it tomorrow. It's just whether or not I do it tomorrow or the week after that or some shit. Okay? George for the three. Have you ever played Pokemon game on stream? If not, I recommend Scarlet. I'm not playing Pokemon. Uh, if I do Pokemon, it'll be Pixelmon. Uh, all right. It's 54% random PC game day and 45% prison sim. Ah! Random PC games are ass. They're the worst types of streams you do. I have never done one of those, you fucking dumb motherfucker. When the fuck, and you're spamming out the shit, cite another day where I did a random PC game, you idiot. 999 chats in my chat, he's only been following for less than a month, and he's saying random PC games are ass, they're the worst types of streams you do. I've never done a random PC game day, ever. So please explain to me when I did one of those games, and when it was bad. Because you're just making up shit. My bad, my bad, Joe. Yeah, it is your bad. Like, that just annoys me. Like, you're just saying, you're just, you're actually just making up shit so I don't play random PC games. You don't even know if they're gonna be bad. You're just bitching for no fucking reason. I was thinking of someone else. <laughs> Streamer, you have 10 seconds. Just say sorry. Why are you doubling down on the lie? Just say sorry. <laughs> like, fuck. Sorry. There we go. Why are you lying? Like, oh my god. You're fucking. What is this? You're bitching in my chat saying random PC game days are ass when I've never done one. You've been following me for less than a month. And then you say you were thinking of somebody else when you weren't. Thank you for the five. You're the streamer. It doesn't matter what chat says. Uh, Lucas for the three. Play Pumpkin Panic. So our game is spooky just for the sub. If you have a game you want me to play, send it in the game suggestion tab. Uh, George for the three. I'm getting overly mad at this. There's no reason I should be this mad.
I'm sorry I freaked out on you, dude, but it just pisses me off you were bitching about legitimately nothing. Like, why were you making that up? The K for the 50. What the fuck? Tomorrow's not the suicide charity stream. I'm donating this for the suicide prevention because I can't tomorrow because of the Sabbath. It's Sunday. Ty. Thank you for the 50. I, I'll dono that, but please don't send me a dono because then I lose money when I dono it because they take a cut. Even PayPal takes a cut. Um, But it's Sunday. Is Sabbath on Sunday? Or is it Saturday? Uh, thank you for the 50, the K. And then you spam check PayPal donos. I saw it. Thank you for the 50. Morocco for the 50 gifted as well. What the fuck? Dub in the fucking chat. Thank you for the 50 gifted, dude. I appreciate the fucking subs. Oh, my God. Thank you for the fucking gifted, dude. I appreciate the fucking subs, Morocco. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the 50 fucking gifted. And all 301. I'm not mad at you anymore, bro. I'm sorry I lost my shit. But you you legitimately spammed telling me not to do random PC game days when I've, li like, I've actually just never done one. <laughs> like, I've literally never done a random PC game day. Uh, where I play, like, five games in a stream. I, the most games I've ever played in a stream is, like, three. Uh, outside of the time that I did the play till I lose, which wasn't random games. That was just games I've already played. And Morocco, thank you for the fucking, uh, the 50 gifteds. Uh, genuinely. That is nuts. All right. Oh, no, it's Saturday, but I heard you say it was today. What do you mean I heard you say it was today? The charity stream is Sunday. World Suicide Prevention Day is Sunday. Uh, not Friday, not Saturday. Sunday. Uh, also for the three. I'm 21, my ex is 19. Yesterday I found out she cheated on me. Shit's hilarious. Oh, she cheated on me with a 14-year-old. Shit's hilarious. Yikes. When did she... Oh, she cheated on you while... Well, you're... Did she cheat on you... I was about to say, did she cheat on you while you were dating? Like a fucking idiot. How do you PayPal, Joe? Wobble. Wobble, brother. You're a VIP. Don't make me on VIP, you bro. Wobble, you're VIP, bro. What's what's with the spamming, man? What's with the spamming, bro? Anyways, I was about to ask you um, if she cheated on you while you were dating. No shit, she did. How long ago was this? Like, did you find out when it happened or you just found... Oh, yesterday I found out. I'm an idiot. I didn't read the whole demo. <laughs> uh, my bad, Azo, for being a fucking dumbass. All right. Uh, and that's actually nuts, dude. Uh, Morocco for the fucking 50 gifted, though. Thank you for the 50. All right. Lock in for the video here, chat. We're going to do a random PC game tomorrow. I've definitively chosen that. Random PC game day is tomorrow. The choice was too uh, close, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to play a bunch of games. We're going to start out with fucking, like, My Child Last Born, Good Pizza, Great Pizza, Radical Relocation. We'll play a bunch of random games. I'll actually have some chat recommendations, like, out on the spot as well, and we might do some random ones. So that'll be fun, right? I'll be live at, like, 12, 1230. I'll be live early tomorrow. Two is the, uh, 2 p.m. EST on Sunday is the charity stream, React Day. Monday, Subnautica, 430. Tuesday off, Wednesday, uh, Joyville, Horror Game. Thursday, uh, half Fortnite, half Miles Morales. Next Friday, Reacts. Next Saturday, we'll do Prison Sim. Is that fine, chat? If we do, if we do Prison Sim next Friday, is that fine? Or next, uh, next Saturday. We'll start prison... Because that'll be probably a multi-day game. Uh, so we'll start the sim game next Saturday. This Saturday, we'll do random PC games. Because I'm live early as well. Right? All right, lock in for the video here. Last deserts of Nevada, just to name a few. Not to mention the number of iconic landmarks. Is this the end of stream? No, I'm going to be live for like another two hours, dude. We have so many videos left. ...across the 9.8 million square kilometers of American soil. When Subnautica? Monday! 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 I said my fucking schedule five fucking times. Are you listening? Lock in. Lock in. Type locked in, chat. Lock in. Lock in. Stop asking me stupid fucking questions. I just said my schedule four fucking times in the last ten minutes. Tomorrow, random PC game day, 1230. Next Saturday, we'll do Prison Sim. Not this Saturday. 2 p.m. Sunday. Charity stream. Reacts. Monday. Subnautica, 430. Tuesday off. Wednesday, fucking Joyville, uh, Scary Reacts. Thursday, Fortnite, Miles Browse. Friday, Reacts. Next Saturday, fucking Prison Sim. Lock in. Doyle.
And Azo, thank you for the fucking 321 again, man. Morocco, thank you for the fucking 50 gifted again, man. And that is crazy, Azo. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but I'm assuming you find it uh, funny because you said shit's hilarious. And Morocco, thank you for the fucking 50. But there is one state. Oh. One state shrouded in a blanket of mystery. A state that stands out for a number of reasons. Known for its many legends. Florida, the Sunshine State, beautiful weather, home to Disney World in Orlando, the sunny beaches of Miami, and some of the biggest fucking alligators you've ever seen in your entire life. Not to mention the bustling population of over 21.4 million people. But within this population... Does Florida have the oldest population? Because I know there's a fuckload of old people in fucking Florida. It's a strange phenomena. A curse, some might say living amongst the common Floridians is a unique species of individual. The Florida man. A Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. A man in Florida. Florida man. Florida man. A man in Florida decide, decided that it would be a good idea to try and flush himself down a toilet at a local 7-Eleven. Right? Like, that's how crazy the fucking stories are. A local Florida man thought that he would actually be able to reproduce with an alligator. Seen at the local zoo here. Man, Florida man. Aware this this imagery is shocking. Bushes baked beans. Now through generic internet memes, you get the impression that most of the US views Florida as this dark shadow realm where only the weirdest events occur, and everybody that lives there is a crazed maniac. Sort of just like Honestly, a bit. I think it's the heat. But then Arizona would be worse. But like Florida's more humid. I don't know. I feel like hot states always have the craziest shit go on. Like, you don't really see that crazy-ass shit go on where it's, like, cold as fuck because people are chilling inside. Big, dangerous swamp. Now, this could all just be palmed off as funny, light-hearted goofs and gaffes between fellow Americans on social media. You know, like, point fun at the weird guy. But something that's intrigued me for a good number of years now is the huge number of news headlines that come off the back of the Florida man. If you've never encountered these infamous Florida man stories for yourself, there is a flood of evidence scattered across the web. Subreddits, Twitter accounts, YouTube videos, all documents. Yeah, let's, let, let's just do a random Google for my birthday. I know that's like a trend. Florida man, February 6th. A Florida man on February 6th chased his son with a van who decided he did not, he did not want to bathe. Joseph Lamar Riley, 45, was chasing his child with a truck because the boy escaped his father refusing to take a bath. <laughs> like, what? Like, what is that fucking story? Like, that one's not even that crazy, bro. Andrew for the three, massacre for the three. How many dips can you do at the gym? I don't know. Documenting the ever-growing, already abundant collection of bizarre media headlines, all with one common feature. August 30th, 2017. A storm was brewing just off the coast of Cape Verde in the central Atlantic Ocean, right next to Africa. First, a tropical wave. A wave that would quickly evolve into Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma. 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 Hurricane Irma. Life-threatening hazards in association with Irma. Very dangerous hurricane on our hands. Strong, intense hurricane. Record-breaking hurricane. Not good. And make sure they have a plan to get out. Take it extraordinarily seriously. A major hurricane that was sitting at a Category 3 on the Saffir Simpson scale. Wow. Which means devastating damage will soon occur. But this was nothing but 111 mile an hour winds. September 4th, Irma had moved westward. By this point, it had progressed to a Category 5 hurricane, signaling catastrophic damage. Or in 157 miles an hour, isn't that like a fucking tornado? Simpler terms, get the fuck out of there. And just two days later, on September 6th, winds had reached deadly speeds of over 180 miles per hour as it tore through the Leeward Islands, resulting in mass damage and several deaths as Hurricane Irma intensified even further. By September 8th, it had reached the east coast of Cuba, raging on further, causing billions of dollars of damage. Now, due to its interaction with Cuban land, a day later, September 9th, Irma had decreased down to a Category 2 hurricane, but no end was in sight. It was here, around 10 days into Irma's path of wreckage, it turned northwestward towards Florida, picking back up to a Category 4 as it approached from the south. Winds were still around 130 miles Is per hour. Is that a newsman? 
this point. Thankfully, due to the northward path, Miami was somewhat spared, but effects were still seen. It first strikes impact with the Keys, and then started to head upwards towards Marco Island. Now, Florida had been in the state of emergency for a few days now, making preparations for the oncoming damage. Public schools, state colleges, and state universities in all 67 counties were closed. Airports were closed, 9,000 flights were cancelled, 7,000 troops were deployed, and an estimated 6.5 million Florida residents were ordered to evacuate their homes. Wow. But worst of all, Disney World was forcefully told to close. So oh with a major God. hurricane that had already ripped through several territories. That's the worst of it. It's destroyed thousands of homes, injured hundreds, caused major flooding, and resulted in billions of dollars of damage, soon threatening to tear through the west side of Florida. One man was ready. Let's call him Ryan Edwards. Because that's what his name is. Well, Ryan. Ryan, R Ryan Edwards, R-Y-O-N. Had a plan. With Hurricane Irma looming in the distance, Ryan set up a Facebook group where he proposed the idea that on September 10th at 10 o'clock Eastern time, the group would gather to shoot guns at Hurricane Irma. And responses <laughs> slowly started popping up. One user wrote, yo, so they- They're gonna fucking shoot guns at the storm? They're gonna fucking- They're gonna dissuade the storm from fucking help- from hurting them? Oh my god. Bro, do they all die? They had to have died. A Category 4 hurricane, they're gonna fucking stand in the middle of it and shoot guns. This goofy-looking, windy head-ass named Irma said they're pulling up on us. Let's show Irma that we shoot Oh, this has to be a joke. First. And surprisingly, 54,000 Florida residents signed up showing interest in the event, with 21,000 of these actually planning to attend. Really? Memes started to pop up everywhere, and the headlines went wild. Florida gun owners- There has to be a few people who actually fucking did it. Shot guns at the storm. Courage to shoot the storm and fire their guns at Hurricane Irma. A call to shoot Hurricane Irma gains unexpected attention. So as the 10th rolled around and the clock struck 10, Ryan's plan had paid off. Around 20,000 people gathered in a field in Florida, armed with their weaponry. Like a scene out of a movie, they- No fucking way faced Hurricane Irma head on, readied their guns and let loose. Thousands of bullets zipping through the storm. And the craziest part, it actually works. Okay, the now he's fucking joking. Sheer power of the bullets caused Irma to change course off the western coast of Florida. Ryan had done it. His bootleg Facebook group had worked to divert a Category 4 hurricane. Can you believe it? No. Because it didn't fucking work. In fact, nobody turned up. The event didn't even take place. And hurricane yeah, because it was a fucking joke, probably. In Irma went on to cause an additional- I mean, to be fair, though, so was, like, the fucking Storm Area 51, and then people actually fucking did it. $50 billion of damage across Western Florida. Ryan stated that the whole Facebook group was just a prank. Uh, I started the whole shoot Hurricane Irma thing really just as a joke. And it was probably best that it never actually happened, because it turns out that shooting bullets at a hurricane can have some pretty dangerous consequences. But it still took a tweet from a Florida sheriff- What to would happen if you shot a bullet in a tornado? ...deter people from actually attending. But however strange, maybe that's just a one-off weird Florida man story. I mean, everywhere has one or two wild headlines. Like the Plymouth man that was caught doing 88 miles per hour on a 70 mile per hour motorway and tried dodging jail by claiming that his imaginary friend was the one doing the driving. And fair enough. What? But across the pond, in Florida, there's quite the abundance. December 2015. 24-year-old Patrick Remp wanted to spend some time with his buddies. But there was one slight problem. They were all in prison. So one night, Patrick, who was currently high on the synthetic drug Flacca, is sort of similar to bath salts. And for Doesn't Flacca make you, like, immortal? Or not immortal, it makes you feel immortal. Like, there's videos of people getting shot, like, when they're on Flacca and they just keep going. Legal reasons, I must say, please don't take either of these. Oh yeah, no, those, that Especially shit's not crazy, at the same bro. time. Anyway, it's- Did he break into prison? <laughs> Did he break into prison to hang out with his friends? The drug had quite the effect on Patrick, because during his mission to see his pals, he attempted to drive his car through the front door of the Indian River County Jail. And when this quickly failed, he rammed the surrounding fence, attempted to climb up, and ended up tangled up in it. Weirdly, wow. the police arrived pretty quickly, and after causing around $5,000 worth of damage, 
Patrick was arrested on charges of aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, battery on a law enforcement officer, three counts of felony criminal mischief, leaving the scene of a crash with property damage, and a DUI. But ironically, he was held in none other than Indian River County Jail. So, he got to see his pals after all. Well, just two months earlier, around 81.2 miles south in West Palm Beach, Florida resident Joshua James was on a late night drive in his pickup truck. The time was around 1am, the air was cool and Joshua was parched. So he did what any normal man would do at that time and pulled up to the nearest Wendy's. He ordered a large soft drink, nothing more. And at around 1.20- That's, that's already insane. Going to a fucking Wendy's and only ordering a soda? Have y'all ever done that? If I'm going to a fast food place, I'm going to buy fucking food. Why would you ever just get a drink? Yeah, yeah. Joshua rolled up to the drive through window. Other than maybe like a milkshake. I would get like a Frosty or some shit. His order. The kind Wendy's lady hands him I his I do drink. that all the time. Why? Why not? <laughs> Why not just get like a two liter of soda or some shit? And then Joshua proceeds to throw a three and a half foot alligator through the Wendy's drive through window. What? And then floors it. Thankfully, police managed to safely remove the alligator. And thanks to salvage surveillance footage, we see that the employee made a hasty escape. And if you wanted to see said alligator, it's right there. One frame. I guess Joshua... Where did he even before. get an alligator? Did he just go into the swamp, pick that bitch up and said, yeah, I'm going to throw that in the fucking Wendy's? at the speed of light. Well, in the end, Joshua was banned from all Wendy's stores and was arrested on the charges of assault with a deadly- Banned from Wendy's stores. Like, they have a fucking photo of his name and they're gonna deny him service. ...weapon. And in a news interview, Joshua's mother had quite the hot take on his crime. You definitely believe this was a prank. Oh, 100%, because he's a prankster. Oh, was he just a prankster, is he, Linda? <laughs> just a light-hearted prank. He's just a little prankster throwing a fucking alligator into a window. Prank, was it? Throwing a fucking alligator at somebody through a window? I guess that one's number one in all of the joke books. Now, however bizarre this crime was, as I looked deeper, I started to notice a trend. Yo, there was one time, I said this before, I, there was one time I went to, the, to, like, the beach in Florida, and I screamed shark. And there wasn't a shark. I was like 10. Boy, did I not hear the end of that. Oh, my God. That was like, like when I tell you it was the fastest way to get the public to hate you, go to the beach, scream shark when there's not a shark. How could you? I was 10. I thought it, I thought it was funny. And then everybody was like, bro, that's like so fucked. And I, not, they didn't say, bro, it was so fucked. They were because I was 10. They were like, why would you do that? And then I sat there. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And then I was like, I won't do it again. <laughs> then I did. I never did it again because I got so embarrassed. Server for the sub Morocco for the 5k biddies, bro. And Bonnie for the three. And Davis Wendy's for the sub. got rid of the vanilla frosty. Did they really? Why would they get rid of the vanilla frosty? I feel like that's the basic flavor. Magic for the five. Uh, Mash for the three. I already read that. And Morocco, thank you for the 5k biddies, bro. And the 50 gifted before. A they did not get rid of the fuck. You're lying. Did Wendy's get rid of the Frosty? Oh, they did get rid of it, but now it's back in the 2023 menu. They got rid of it like a year ago. Friend that made it seem that Joshua's crime wasn't that out of the ordinary. Florida men love alligators. I mean, there was hundreds of headlines featuring the scaly bastards. And the alligators. I mean, it was practically endless. Florida man arrested for trying to get alligator drunk. Florida man charged with picking magic mushrooms. Why would you get a, Why would you get arrested for trying to get an alligator drunk? Like, why, it, why is that a crime? Carrying an alligator. Florida magic mushrooms whilst carrying an alligator florida man fights alligator to save dog florida man that is actually like there's people's jobs in florida where it's not a job right but like it's like like hippies they'll go around cow pastures and pick out uh hallucinogenic mushrooms from cow poop i watched a whole video on that shit but it was like a whole documentary they were like yeah man like we do this all the fucking time yeah, we just go around, we go into the cow poop, and then they had a wa- Oh my god. They picked one- they picked, like, a, a, a hallucinogenic mushroom that was growing in cow poop, poured water on it, barely got any of the poop off of it, and then ate it. Sin for the thousand, but he's one of these as the best fries. They are good. Serpent for the sub. 
A caught feeding wild alligator resists arrest. He is a good boy and loves bagels. And maybe best of all, you gotta wash it and eat it. I mean, all all hallucinogenic mushrooms are grown in like poop or some sort of like, not manure, but like fertilizer, which is usually shit when you're found in the wild. Florida man shouts, fuck that alligator, jumps into a lake and is killed by alligator. Okay, he was from Texas, but the point still stands. Florida sure is gator town. Honestly, reading Florida Man headlines has become a genuine pastime of mine. You'll find a weird one, think that you've seen the worst, and then instantly top it. Please, join me by the fire as I read you a handful of my favourite that I've collected over the years. Florida Man manages to misspell school on warning sign. Oh my god. Twice. Florida Man ripped urinal from restaurant bathroom wall. Run urinal? Urinal, is that how people from the UK say urinal? No fucking way. He's naked into woods. Florida man pauses police chase to rehydrate with stolen Capra Sun. I mean, these are insane. I love it. In fact, these headlines Urinal. are so unworldly that you can just create a fake one on the spot and it will sound real. Here, uh, let me give it a go. Or right, my best made up Florida man headline. Here it goes. Um, Florida man claims son, no, 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 wife was kidnapped by... Holograms. Oh, classic. Oh, wait, that, that actually happened. And these... Yeah, I knew he was going to fucking say that. Headlines aren't just a thing of the past. If you Google Florida Man and filter by news, there's still fresh headlines appearing every single day. Now, the true cause and... Let's look at a... Let's look at a new... Like, a new Florida Man one. Florida Man... Florida Man arrested after trying to cross Atlantic in hamster wheel vessel. <laughs> No fucking way. A Florida man was arrested after trying to run to London across the Atlantic Ocean in a homemade vessel resembling a hamster wheel. Hold up, I gotta show you all this. Wow. That is fucking crazy. Look at that. He thought he was gonna run to London. Officials say the 44-year-old marathon runner refused to leave the vessel for three days. What the fuck? Dude, this was three days ago. What's another one? Florida man busted with guns, drugs, and prostitutes in Lux Nantucket yacht raid. That's that's just more normal. A man couldn't buy cigarettes at Walgreens, so he attacked with candy, Florida cop says. Damn, being a cop in Florida might be fucking the craziest shit ever origin of the florida man isn't entirely explained maybe it's why is that illegal i don't know why are you not allowed to do that extreme heat something in the water i mean you would die probably to protect him or some exotic bug carrying a path like if you genuinely tried to run to london in a hamster wheel that was floating you would die in like a day or maybe it runs deeper politically with increasing crime rates or growing drug use in the state but the florida man is an untamed beast and is still very much at large. Now, if you won't mind me, I've got a Facebook event where we're going to gather in a local park to protect the world from a rain cloud. And with Do you think there's a New Jersey man? I feel like that might be one. New Jersey man. New Jersey business owner arrested for using drone to drop green dye in, near in nearby pools. The fuck is he dropping green dye in pools for? All right, now we got a Meat Canyon video. Oh, fuck. And then we got a bunch of other shit. All right, lock in here, chat. Liam for the sub. Uh, Tragedy of a React streamer. Chat, like, you, you don't even have to even, like, put, put together, you know, like, like, what, this is crazy, chat, you know, like, it, it's, it's crazy, you know, like, it's, it's, it's kind of insane, you know, when, 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 they, when they do this, you know. I mean, what, what am I even looking at, chat? Like, this is insane, you know, like, it's, it's absolutely wild. This is from the clip of him when he was sitting there reacting and there was like four like um maids that were cleaning all his trash. When they do this, you know, I mean, what, what am I even looking at, Chad? Like, this is insane, you know, like, it's, it's absolutely wild. Is that his gold? Why don't we just take some here and leave? If we're going to do this, we should do it right. There's more valuable items further down.
There they are. Uh, I don't think we should be doing this. What? Don't be a fool. One of these could pay for your family's future, and their family's future for generations to come. You won't even notice it being gone. Look how much he already has. Dude, that would be oh. like a thousand times. Chat just spamming. D J K A S H H D D K J S A. Oh no! You clumsy idiot! Grab the treasure and let's get out of here! Come on, come on, let's go! So the treasure is still my treasure. He did not. I mean, it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's crazy, but you know, I, not that I need the treasure. It's, it's my treasure. You know, like, my gold shot, you know, like, it, it, people, like, it, like I don't really need it or anything, like, it's crazy, but you're right, I, I, I... I got reviews, chat, like, I, I, I need them for YouTube vlogs, chat, you know, because people who miss the streams, like, you know what I mean, chat, like, it's crazy, chat, like, I, I do, I, do, I, I, I have a, I have a views now, you know, like, it's, it's one of these things where it's mine now, chat, like, not, not that I really need them, chat, but... Did he ever react to this? What did he say? I know that there's one more person in here. Like, like, wow. Uh, you could come into my treasure vault and. There's nowhere to run, chat. There's nowhere to run. So don't even try running because you won't even really come to get past me, chat. Uh, you will pay for what you have done. I uh, don't even need this gold, chat, but it's mine. Now give me your eyes. I will take your eyes. Just like your friends, I will take your friends' eyes. I will take your eyes again. I will do it again, chat. You will join them soon enough. And be here forever to stay with me. And I will... This is this is this is crazy. Chad, I, 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 if I could just find find, find it, the 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 views, chat, I could I, then maybe I could find it with the good chat. Chat, I, 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 wow, chat, wow, chat. This is <laughs> yo. That's actually what he says though. <laughs> wow, wow, chat. This is. Me Canyon reacts to XQC to reacts. Oh my god. Have to even like put, put, put together so you know, like like Wait, is it collecting the views? We'll do it again. All the money. Okay, bye-bye. Right, Bro, I need, I need biting his toes. All right, hold up. Yo, I got to piss real quick, chat. Then we're going to go fucking uh, watch the next video. All right. Tell me down 30 seconds.
next man. Hua. British high schoolers try American cereal for the first time. Before we even get into this video, I already know they're going to say it's too sweet, right? Like, that's going to be the first thing about most of them. And I would agree, like, what's a cereal that we eat in the United States that's too sweet? Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs are too sweet. Um, Frosted Flakes aren't too sweet. They're sweet, but they're not too sweet. Fruity Pebbles are pretty fucking sweet. Like, to the point of almost being, like, gross. Tricks, yeah. Tricks are sweet, but I wouldn't say they overdo it. It's just like straight sugar. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Tap nap for the three. I think they'll like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think they'll like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think they'll like like Honey Nut Cheerios and just the base shit. Tap nap for the three. You should upload uh, that reaction to YouTube. It's ethical. What do you mean it's ethical? British high schools try American Zero for the first time. Even though I literally just read that. All right, All right guys. Back for more American food. This time we have American Cereal. How often do you guys eat cereal? Probably every single day. Either every morning for breakfast or I had a. Uh, I don't eat cereal. I eat... Oh, wait, no, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta prepare my British accent. Tuesday. Well, I don't eat. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I gotta hear them talk. Hold up. Every morning for breakfast or. Well, every morning for breakfast, I uh, I eat beans and toast. I don't really like. Uh, I don't really, I don't really like uh, what you Americans call cereal. I would say I eat my beans and toast more than anything, you know. I, and I'll I'll take some stuff from the Australians here. I I just started. I just switched to an Australian accent. Australia. Um, I'm gonna take some stuff from the Australians here. I would say I very much like um uh that Marmite, right? I do like Marmite. I like my beans and toast. I like Marmite. Uh, I don't. I'm I'm not very much fond of cereal. Uh, just uh, to put it bluntly, I think it's, uh, for the peasants, right? Uh, I don't want to say that, uh, Americans are the lesser version of, uh, us British people. But, uh, to be fair, I think eating cereal is something for the poor. And I am not poor, so. <laughs> or, oh, I had it last night. <laughs> I might also have some Yorkshire pudding. Uh, that, we that gross stuff. Uh, whatever the fuck that is because I was hungry. Oh, you only do Australian? Was that Australian? No, that was a British accent. That was a bad British accent. It was a British accent. That was an Australian. Solid midnight snack cereal. I grew up with cereal. It's Vegemite, not Marmite. What the fuck is Marmite then? Mr. Smith. Yeah, every no. day? Every day. Our first yes. one. Classic. Lucky Charms. Those things, they look like bath. Yo, I don't like Lucky Charms that much anymore. Like, they're still good. And they're goaded, but like, have y'all ever eaten Lucky Charms? Okay, and I know all y'all are gonna fucking say no, right? And this is definitely something that's only uh, applies to me. Have y'all ever eaten Lucky Charms and been like, damn, dude, there's too many marshmallows? Like, I wish I had like, la like, they're th so sweet. Like, I wish I could just have like, just the cereal from the Lucky Charms, but at that point, I might as well just eat Cheerios. Right. Bombs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to eat all the cereal and then save the marshmallows for last. Now, when I eat that shit, I'm like, damn, dude, I'm getting too much marshmallow. <laughs> are you milk first or cereal first? I'm cereal first. Some of the boys put milk first and they are wrong. Okay. <laughs> like, actually wrong. Oh, I love all three of you are milk first, boys. Uh, I'm loving too much milk. Us British people, we put the milk first. Uh, that's what the Queen told me to do. Us Brits, we put the we put the milk first. Normally, when I have cereal, I normally have like a massive bowl of it. Okay, well, you're gonna be trying. It actually makes no sense, like like logically, on a genuine standpoint, it doesn't make sense to put milk first because it'll float, right? And it doesn't absorb it as well because then you're gonna have like a layer that's absorbing it, and then just a bunch of dry cereal. If you put the cereal first, then the milk, then it absorbs it better. Like, I don't understand why the fuck anybody would ever put milk first. Like, it doesn't make sense. Brock texting me, hold up. A lot of different types of cereal today, so you might not want to do that. They're all like different symbols, aren't they? I thought they were just fish. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think there are some fish in there. Mm. 
I will say the marshmallows are kind of weird. Like, they're not even marshmallows. You know what I mean? They're, like, hard. And they're chalky. Oh, these are nice. <laughs> <laughs> this guy don't like anything. <laughs> She's really sweet. Yeah, they crunch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That would definitely give you a boost to them. Yeah, energy boost. Yeah. Well, are these yeah. marshmallows? So, so that is a dehydrated marshmallow. Oh, Ooh. they're dehydrated. Pour the milk on it, it rehydrates it. Ooh. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It. <laughs> that's just a fucking lie and a half. Uh, it does not make that shit soft in any way whatsoever. That shit is still dry as a bitch. Yes, it does. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Yo, it makes the outer layer moist, and the inside is still... <laughs> <laughs> makes it soft. <laughs> See, I really like it. But I know that a lot of people wouldn't because it's too sweet. Because I love the fact that the milk has already turned blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's really good for you. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's already blue. Would you give them to your kids? I would. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would give them to my kids. I think when you've got kids, I think whatever makes them happy at breakfast, get them going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does a taste test. This kid's down in the whole bowl. Oh my God. They got like 10 more cereals to go. We're eating a lot, guys. There's a lot of cereal to come. Just to let you know. One more spoon. Okay. okay. Last one. Last one. Lucky Charms are maybe more famous. Yeah. But these have also been around for a long time in the States. This is tricks. Yo, I haven't had tricks in... I haven't had tricks since they were balls. Straight up. Anybody remember when tricks looked like Cocoa Puffs? That's when I, That's the last time I had trick cereal. Like, I feel like it's not that popular. It's just like... It's also nothing, right? I don't want to say the easiest cereal to down a whole box of is tricks, but it's definitely tricks. Like, if you, if you eat a whole mouthful of tricks and you crunch it down... It'll be about this much, like, food mass. It's mainly air. What is that? Is they that... changed it? Yeah, it's like flowers now. Vegetables. <laughs> no. Are they, is it fruit flavored? Mm. Mm. Silly rabbit turned milk thing. Is that meant to be funny? Well, I, or... I don't know, that's their slogan. <laughs> Why would you want your milk to be pink? <laughs> I was about to put the milk before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smell it. Relax. 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 Okay. Oh, take a whiff of this. It's fucking cereal, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Bro's acting like he's like sniffing straight up like a dead body. Cool. <laughs> like it's rotting. Amount of sugar. Let me get a why would you why would you be disgusted by smelling sugar? Oh my god. <laughs> you want some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe oh, share that out. Yeah. Look how bright it is. <laughs> Look at that. It's do they not? Am I stupid or do they, like don't they sell this shit in, in the UK? Like there's no way they only sell these cereals in the US. I feel like they've taken a flower and they've reduced it. Yeah, yeah. They don't? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck what fucking cereal do people eat in the UK? Rolled wheat? Whoa. Nah. Ugh. What is that? <laughs> Isn't most of our food banned in the UK? No, they just have different recipes. Because their food regulations are more strict, which is actually good on their end. Like, if you eat, like, I always reference Kraft Mac and Cheese. But, like, Kraft Mac and Cheese in the UK has, like, four ingredients. In the UK, or, or, in the UK has four ingredients. In the US has, like, 50. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. Wow. <gasps> <laughs> this guy doesn't like anything. You like You're anything. so like. Look, taste them. Taste them. Taste them. Taste them. They're not bad, no. but I would I would never pick tricks <laughs> over anything tough. else. I mean, I like really sweet. You have a sweet strange tooth. thing. You have yeah. a sweet too. I don't even think my kids would like this. These are horror. Yeah, Reese's horror. puffs are worse. You bite into Reese's puffs. That's like you just pouring sugar into your fucking mouth. Like a pixie <laughs> stick. Nah. Taste them, bro. Nah, these are horrible. <laughs> if you like, just. <laughs> no, I... no, no, no. That's on camera. That's in the video. That's in the video. How much sugar actually is in there? Ooh. 12 grams of sugar. Per serving or per 100 grams? Per 160. No, that's per calories. It's 12. 12 grams of sugar per serving. But I feel like most people, when they eat cereal, they're eating two servings. Like a cup of cereal is nothing.
grams per 39 grams. <laughs> and there's 303 grams in there. That's one way to get you up in the morning. <laughs> I actually Googled why we don't uh, have Personally, the beans and toast does it for me. <laughs> but I mean, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. Materials that turn the milk a different colour. It's because Never the chemicals that make it happen are actually illegal <laughs> in this oh, country. Is that why? Oh my god, yo, that's a problem. They can't eat trick cereal because it's illegal to eat trick it's illegal to sell trick cereal in the UK. I don't I I I don't want to say tricks it, it, it was definitively tricks or lucky charms, but there was something in Lucky Charms where they had like a recall. Yeah, in the in 2022 alone, 8,500 people felt ill after eating Lucky Charms from one of the chemicals in the cereal. They got like really sick. <laughs> like, yo, chat, that's a problem, right? I know we like joke about that, but if you're if our food is banned in another country because of the chemicals in the food, that's like not safe. I think it was like something, something in Lucky Charms is like a similar chemical that's used in like embalming fluid or some shit. Like, don't quote me on that, but it's some crazy ass chemical that they put into Lucky Charms. Country. It's paint <laughs> remover. Yeah, it's some shit. They're yeah. illegal because they can't rule out whether it causes damage to your DNA or chromosomes. Oh my so God. So I can wake up tomorrow and I'm like, skin is pink and... <laughs> <laughs> Put me off a little bit. Nah, you yeah. probably like wake up tomorrow paralyzed. That would probably be the the actual thing that would fucking affect you. It was Red Forty. I don't think Red Forty is it, Red Forty is banned in other countries. Uh, <laughs> next up, another famous one. Overrate it, Captain Crunch. Right, I'll eat it, but overrate it. Captain Crunch. Crunch. I like when they have berries. I don't like just regular Captain Crunch. It tease me, Captain. <laughs> Is it Spanish? No, 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 no. Oh, they're really small. It changes your DNA. What does that do to you? If I eat too much cereal, what fucking happens? Do I just go limp? Puffins for the sub Lamone, for the sub TJ for the three. What's the best cereal to eat dry? IMO, it's Honeycombs. C Smith for the sub. I don't think I've ever had Honeycombs dry. So I don't really know. I like mini wheats dry. That's a bad take too. But I love mini wheats dry. Hero for the three. Florida Man article says Florida Man broke into a government facility to warn them of the war between aliens and dragons. Cali for the sub Marion for the three. My dad wouldn't let me eat them. He said it's the government trying to poison me and supporting all evil if I buy some. Blank for the sub Bonnie for the three. Oatmeal's the best breakfast food there. The best breakfast food is uh, a bagel and eggs, in my opinion. Uh, tap nap for the three. You should upload three. I already read that. Oh, yeah, the time. Ever had Crave? Crave cereal sucks. And it makes my throat itch. Like I'm allergic to something in Crave. Big mouthfuls. Mm. Yeah. Best one so far, 100%. Ooh. When are you gonna watch something interesting? When are you gonna stop being annoying? Oh wait, right now, because I timed you out for 24 hours. Mm. No, these ones are top tier. These are nice. Nah, these ones are nice. They're crunchy. Very they're crunchy. They're sweet, they're sweet. They don't look good, but they're good. <laughs> okay, okay. It's almost like so crunchy it could like cut your mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> really? It's that equilibrium of crunch. It's, oh. it's nice, yeah. yeah. Is, is Captain giving you the crunch? <laughs> yeah, Captain oh. me with crunch. Yeah. <laughs> Captain me with crunch. <laughs> it's called crunch, and it does have a crunch. Like All you right. hear the crunch. Can you hear what I mean? Yeah, I can, I can. Yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, okay. oh. Oh, it's really crunchy. Very crunchy. I have crunchitized. <laughs> yeah, I have, and that has, I've experienced that. They're, they're the best one so far. Yeah. Okay, Captain Crunch. Moving on from Captain Crunch. Another. Yeah, what what cereal? What American cereal you think British people would like? F mini wheats unfrosted. <laughs> unfrosted rolled wheat. Rolled wheat. The classic. You'll definitely have heard of these. Fruit Loops. Oh, Fruit Loops. Yo, Fruit season. Loops are the middest cereal of them all, bro. Like, I, I'll eat Fruit Loops and I won't bitch about it. Like, they're not bad. But, like, lazy as fuck. Boring flavor and every fucking Fruit Loop is the same fucking flavor. 
even though they're different colors. Just keep them the same fucking color. So stop trying to write this off as some fruit mix if they're all the same fucking flavor. I love the American movies. I've never tried it though. Uh-huh. Are they like a huge cereal brand in America? Like, they're one of the biggest. Fruit, yeah. <laughs> That wouldn't work. No one's noticed that. No, no one's noticed that <laughs> for years. Just the smell smells lemony. Ooh. Okay. And like what is the fruit flavor of Fruit Loops? Is it fruit flavored? No, it's just sweet. It has like an undes undescribable fruity taste, like a weird berry mush. It's just fruit. <laughs> like. It's a loop flavor. Yeah, like chemicals. What does Fruit Loops taste like? Chemicals. Summer, you know. Something that will make your brain happy, but you don't know why. Summer? Mm. That smells like... Oh, yeah. It smells a bit tropical, right? Yeah. He's like, tricks, uh... I don't like tricks. Oh my god, he's, he's gonna spit that bitch out. Yeah, what's the trick? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, it's not that bad though. I am like, I are are we just like prone to like thinking these cereals are okay? Like, does every other country think they're that gross? Like, they're not amazing. They're like a C tier cereal, but I'm not gonna vomit. Like, he was almost gagging at how bad he thought that was. I, think, <laughs> I feel like he's just. I think he just doesn't like it. It's got to be an overreaction. There's no way Americans are just the only people that like that. All the cereal is artificial. I don't like them more than well, any of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst so yeah. far. It's oh, just no, no. fruits. But like artificial fruits. What's something artificial that's not a cereal that UK people would like that they can't eat normally? Probably like some, like maybe like a Reese's bar. Yeah, zebra cakes. Some, yeah. Like tasty cake shit, like a Twinkie. Give a British person a Twinkie. Who wants a lemon? Then their obesity rate's gonna fucking rise. With milk. Has there ever been a good artificial fruit flavored cereal? I don't think in England there are any fruit artificial flavor cereals. I don't, I don't know. I gotta look up UK cereals. Shredders. <laughs> Shredders. Just eat fucking Chex Mix, buddy. That's fucking wheat Chex. Right there. That's wheat, unsalted wheat Chex. That's what you're fucking eating. Oh my god. What are some other ones? Are they still got, I mean, they got Rice Krispies. They have like. They have the base shit that likes allowed, right? Like Cheerio flavors. Like Cheerios aren't, I'm assuming Cheerios aren't banned. Or at least some forms of Cheerios aren't banned. Here's a look inside UK stores. UK brand cereals. They gotta have some nut shit. Oh, what is this? Weeda Bix, Shreddies, Honey Monsters, Golden Nuggets, Fruit and Fiber, Crunchy Nut. And then they got like American cereals, Bran Flakes. That's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's American too. I mean, it's, it's Nestle, but it's like, a, it, it seems like it's mainly for the UK. I've never heard of some of these. Shredded Weed I've heard of, but nobody orders that. Oh, well, for the sub, hand up for the sub. Uh, for the 555, can you say thank you? Or say hello. I don't know if I want to say that message. I feel like you're trying to like bait me into saying so. Thank you, Trap Eddie, for work in the church. What? All right, hold up. All right, back to the video. My name yeah. on that. Did they ever have bread on toast in America, or is this what they eat? Bread, oh, bread, bread, on, bread, on, bread on toast. I didn't mean that. Bread on toast. <laughs> like butter on toast. Butter on toast. I should try that. A little bit of a uh, left turn here. Oh yeah. Oh, they're gonna I've fucking love one. that. I've heard of this one. Ooh, I'm actually excited about these. Yeah. Toast. If any of them don't like them, they just have bad taste. 
That's just a British person L. Does not look like toast. I've never met somebody that didn't like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh my god, yo, that's just making me hungry. Cinnamon Toast Crunch sucks. That's the best cereal. This? Yeah. Best one so far. Best one so far. That's wow. like a. It's, it's like one of the best cereals I've ever. But it's the most sugar. They were bitching about how artificial and sugary they were. And then they eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is literally just straight sugar. And they're like, oh, this is the best one so far. Try them on. Okay. It's really good. Yeah? It's because it's not fruit flavored. Right, they always try to go to like fruit flavored shit. This is, this is your favorite so far? Yeah. These ones are better than the ones I have at home. No. Yeah, he is enjoying that. Yeah. He is enjoying that. Well, let me enjoy my cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> I mean, if you like cinnamon, you like this. Yeah. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't like it. Okay. I mean, you could eat this on a regular basis. You could. Because I don't think the fruit ones you could eat oh, outside of. Ever. 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 Maybe. But, um, <laughs> now you're chowing down. You trying to finish it so you can drink the milk. Actually, that's yeah, give the milk, give the milk a little. Oh my God. Yeah, the milk is fire. <laughs> wow, he even swished it. Like mouth They sell Cinnamon Toast Crunch milk. Fred for the three. I think it's weird that we normalize a cereal that has a chemical reaction when it touches milk. Rice Krispies. Why is that weird? Isn't it just popped rice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goggles. Yeah. No, that's, that's proper nice. Yeah. Yeah, that is class right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Reese's Puffs. Worst one. Do you guys like Reese's peanut butter cups? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and, and oh, they'll taste nothing like Reese's peanut butter cups. You've eaten a Reese's peanut butter cup, be prepared to have an entirely new, different fucking flavor in your mouth that's gonna taste like absolute garbage. Every time I go to the corner shop, that's the first thing I, I take. Like, it's so nice. And have he's gonna, gonna be Reese's so disappointed. He's gonna be clouded by his opinion on Reese's that he's gonna like them. This cereal. They're so no, gross. No. Isn't there a song about these? You know what? The Reese's Puffs. Oh, yeah. Reese's Puffs. Yeah. So old. <sighs> I tried Reese's and I don't like them, so I, I'll see how these compare to. Hey, okay, so you yeah. don't like Reese's peanut butter cups? No, I don't like them. Oh, that's just like a rabbit piece. Like, like, actually, like, we're just gonna glance past that. Doesn't like Reese's cups. Weird. <laughs> no. right? Terrible no. take. No. No. You, you know what a looks like? Huh? You know what rabbit poo looks like? Yeah, it, it, does. It, it, does. it does. It does look like rabbit poo. <laughs> tastes like it as well. This doesn't taste nice. <laughs> How do you know what rabbit poo tastes like? Sarcasm, bros. Nah, they don't like it. I think that's the worst one. So oh. far. Yes! Oh my God, W kid, bro, fuck. Oh, I hate when people say they like Reese's Puffs. Those shits are trash. Actual garbage, bro, F tier. I would never buy them. Oh, you guys are not sure. <laughs> They're oh, so not bad. gross. Not bad. It's the first one you haven't liked. Yeah. Okay. It's so good. <laughs> it says it's made with real Reese's peanut butter. Probably is, but is there any real chocolate? Probably not. <laughs> Um, it's not bad, but it's not, not bad, good. but it's not good. But they're not good. They are they're bad. bad. I could, again, I could They're eat bad, all. and they're like 30 grams of sugar, dude. If you eat a bowl of Reese's peanut butter cups, you might as well just drink a Coke. A whole bowl? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't the worst. It's better than chips. That's it. I'm not, as long as it's better than chips. It's <laughs> it's he said it tastes like rabbit shit, and he's still eating it. It's better than chips. the bar that you've set. <laughs> at the bottom. All right, guys, we're back where it all started, back at the school, because we have a little surprise for Headmaster Smith today, and we want you guys. It's an ad. W video, though. Next one. Um, let's go a day in the life of the Twitch mod. You going? Yep. You going? This is an older video. I haven't seen it though. You going? Yep. You going? Roller. Yeah. Name's Wolfstein. 23 year old Twitch mod. Been doing it for about four years now. So after I uh, make my uh, cup of coffee, it's time to start the day. I'm in a different time zone than streamers. So a lot of them go live around like 10 a.m. Um, I sometimes have to get up at 4 a.m. and just be oh ready to work, God. be ready to mod, you know? What's that in the background? These are my, uh, these are my, uh, these are the streamers I work for. 
I only work for like uh, top edu- educational streamers. Edu- educational? What, what do you? Or I mean, highly educated. Oh. They're not educational, but they're highly educated. They're very smart. That's why I work for them. I eat three eggs for breakfast. Turkey sandwich, one protein shake, ten ribs. That's a lot of protein. Good job. What exactly do you get from working for these guys? Um, it's more of like a friendship rather than like. Oh a, my god, bro. <laughs> Uh, a boss and, and like job, you know, there's 4,707 people watching this right now And I've got to moderate all of them, you know, it, it's tired. It's bigger. It's vigorous work. It's tiring tiring work Mods are being quiet right now. I don't even know what mods are in my chat Sorry, I got distracted I'm going on and on about three out three hours now, you know it kind of just seems like you just watch them. I, so what do you moderate? Like, what what exactly does that mean? I I, uh, I start predictions so people can vote on and spend. <laughs> Yo, have any of my Twitch mods explained what they mo- like? Have you guys ever told somebody that you're my Twitch mod, and then you explain what you do by saying that? Well, I you know, I make predictions. Um. I, I, I do polls. Let's, I mean, uh, let's just say I kind of run the whole place. Um, uh, you know, I, I keep it, I keep it, I keep it locked down. Let's just say that, you know, I, 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 I rule it with an iron fist. I, I, I uh, chat's not getting anywhere when I'm there. And their channel points, because people work hard for their channel points, you know. Oh, she changed. Exciting. They're always keeping it exciting, you know? Oh God, just got the notey. Just got the notey. We gotta stop what we're doing. The top dog's going live. Top dog? Who is that? We got a mob. Um, I thought this was cute. Let's get some hype in chat, boys. She'll sometimes like say my name, shout me out, cause I'm like a mod and stuff. I get a weekly call, well a monthly call with Pokey. That's like the main reason I do it, you know. That monthly call I'm looking forward to all the time. I'm like a white. I'm like I'm I'm I'm, I'm like a I'm like I'm like a <laughs> oh, I'm like a top. The guard of the castle. She's like the queen. So like I just make sure no one's breaking the rules ever. If I ever catch any creeps trying to flirt with queen in chat, that's an instant ban. You know, you put a lot of time in this, like, but it, you don't really get anything out of it. Don't you have any dreams of yourself? Like, what? Why don't you stream? First of all, this is a dream of mine. I, I, you know, I get to defend and I'm gaining a lot of experience. I feel like he had to portray that this was the moderator of like Pokimane and all these people that do ASMR rather than like a normal Twitch streamer. Wait, so well, I mean, Pokimane's a normal Twitch streamer, but like ASMR Twitch streamers where they're just like licking the mic for like four hours and somebody watches that shit for four hours. Like, how do they stay entertained? As a kid, you grew up and you said you wanted to do this. Not exactly, but it's it's. This is my, fake for sure. Yeah, no shit. He's this is a skit. I, my IT background helps with this. It, it's nice because last last year I've been I've been I've been spending so much time at work that I actually had to move back in with my parents because uh, it was so stressful and unmanageable. What, what kind of stuff do you do you like to do? I mean, what do you do even with your free time? Uh, I watch I watch a lot of Twitch streams. In my free time, I make vods of the streamers so that they can post it on their YouTube channel. Always. Yo, what mod is this most like? If he said he oh, he said he edits right there. What what one of my mods is this most like? Who what <laughs> cloak? Probably cloak because cloak edits for me. Because <laughs> cloak edits for me. So there's I, and he like pops into stream. Cloak won't even mod. Cloak will come into my stream for like four minutes, spam, and then leave. Selena for the three. I turned 15 on Monday. Happy uh, late birthday. You saved me from suicide. It got me, uh, uh, your of depressive, oh, got me out of depressive episodes. If you remember me, I sent bits in chat uh, around March. Probably won't. Yeah, I, I don't remember that in March. And my brother was the one who killed himself. Oh, I do remember that. Keep up the great work, uh, Joe. You're on it. Uh, you're honestly one of the best uh, online influencers, and you always try to be real and tell the truth. You never fail to make us all laugh. Also, please say Queenie for my birthday. Queenie. Uh, and happy late birthday. Santa Claus for the three, R6, and Santa for the sub, Fred for the three. They say thank you. They always say. Cloak bros, we're so back. Yeah, no, I could I could totally envision Cloak wearing. This could do, this guy, if he said Cloak bros, we're so back, that's Cloak. That's 100% Cloak. You rock. Cloak bros, let me get a cloak bros in the chat. 
keep this up, let's go. Whenever I play a fucking video game with them. Yeah, that's like really the bare minimum. Yeah, I mean, what else would I expect? Streamers honestly don't get paid a lot, and they do a lot of hard work for us to keep us entertained. Oh my god. I can't watch the rest of this. I really can't watch the rest of this. All right, next video. The accidental 400 milligram edible. Have we seen this, right? I don't know if we've seen this. I've seen this, but I love this video. So I am willing to watch it again, right? I saw it like when it came out fucking three years ago, but I'm willing to watch this on stream again. I don't think we've seen it. I'll literally Google it because it would show up on the VOD. No, I haven't seen it. All right. Yeah, I'll watch this. Yeah, y'all want to watch this? It was the one where they ate 96 edibles? No, that was a different video. This is Ted's story. King for the sub, haha, for the sub, Selena for the three. This is an old video, but it's actually funny as fuck. I'm prefacing this. I have watched this, right? Because a lot of people start conspiracy theory that I pre-watch a lot of my videos. Uh, I don't. But I have seen this video. But I'm willing to watch it again because I haven't seen it in like three years. And it's funny as shit. And when I first watched this, uh, I had never done an edible before. But now I can actually share my uh, my fucking stories as well. Let's lock in. Is it just pure pain now? Oh, that's what you hate to hear. The edible story. Goodness gravy, I've got a story for you guys today. Listen, in the pursuit of life, sometimes we run into bumps along the road. The bumps vary in size and severity. Sometimes it's a little tiny pebble in the road, and sometimes it's a giant fucking boulder, like, um, for instance, if you were hiking and you got hit by a giant fucking boulder. We're doing our best, all right? And sometimes things don't work out the way we would, we would prefer. Today is one of those little interesting conundrums that we run into every now and then in our lives. And it happened to me. I ran into a bit of an issue. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about how I once accidentally drugged myself with the largest edible I've ever eaten. So that's crazy. Like, that's actually, like, just the, the premise of the story on how you accidentally eat 400 milligrams of weed, right? Like, to put it in perspective, the average person, when they get high takes like 10 milligrams, right? Like 10 to 25. To be fair, that's also medical weed and medical weed is a lot stronger in edibles than it is in like base shit that people normally bake. Uh, like I had edibles before that my friend maybe that were like 50 milligram, 100 milligrams and they were about as strong as a 10 milligram medical. But nevertheless, like no one really takes this much uh, unless they're like a true pothead. I've ever taken like a hundred, a hundred, a hundred non-medical, uh, medical like 30 and that shit had me bugging. If you take a 400 milligram edible for 2 million subs on YouTube, if it was non-medical, yeah, because medical weed is just way more potent in edible form than, than non-medical weed. Like if I had a 400 milligram, like, uh, Call me Jackie Chan. Call me, call me Jackie Chan. All right. Uh, what the fuck was I even saying? <laughs> I don't even remember. What I was like, would I eat a 400 milligram edible for two mil on YouTube? If I did a video of it, I wouldn't be able to stream. Because uh, if you get too high on stream, uh, you get banned. Uh, that happened in the Kai incident. When he ate a, a, like a 50 milligram edible and then passed out on stream. Last February before all the coronavirus garbage. You're allowed to do, you're allowed to do, like you're allowed to smoke weed on stream or eat edibles if it's legal in your state and drink, but you can't excessively do it, right? Uh, if it gets to the point of where it seems dangerous, that's when like uh, you would get banned. So I wouldn't be able to eat a four. If I had a 400 milligram edible chat, I swear to God, I'd be in the chair like this. Like, I, like, eyes barely open. I might vomit, dude. 
happened no. i traveled to los angeles for spring break and one of the things that i had to do was i had to sign a shit ton of posters for u2s there was probably more than three thousand posters that i had to sign and the posters were oh! Th sign three thousand posters bro that had to take fucking two hours three hours spamming through that shit being kept at the house that the Misfits YouTube group were staying at in LA. Carson was there, Schlatt was there, Cooper was there. We were all just trying to like sign all of these posters as fast as we could because there's so many of them and it was ta it would take us it was taking us literally hours to do. At this point there was maybe about 5 or 6 people in the house at this time. And that's because at that point the whole main Misfits crew had gone out to dinner somewhere. I don't know if you know this about the Misfits in general but they smoke a lot of weed. Every trip they do, they probably spend a couple thousand dollars on weed, okay? Oh they smoke the- I like, I, yo, I feel like that's way too much fucking marijuana. On a one week trip, they spend a couple thousand dollars. What weed are you buying? How much are they smoking? Are they just, are they high all day? A couple grand for like four people. The Mary Jane. How much have you spent on weed total in my life? Probably like a thousand total, like in my life, right? I mean, I'm also 21, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. Now we're now we're thinking about this. Um, wow, thousand dollars. I'm not even 22 yet. Okay, that is that is actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's not as much as them, but wow. Now, nah, probably not a thousand. All right. Now I got to recalculate. Uh... It's the main problem. Okay. I know you guys are going to say, wow, that's a lot. It's because I give my friends edibles, right? Like I buy edibles a lot, right? But I don't eat all of them, right? So I spend a lot of money on weed, but I'm not really, I've can. Out of the thousand dollars of weed that I've bought, I've probably smoked or eaten 400 of it, right? Like the rest I give out. I have that problem, right? And I know like, I wouldn't say it's a problem. I think it's good that I do it, but I also think it's like a financial thing. Like I buy people shots at bars a lot because I make money, like I make money, right? Like I, I make a good salary off of social media. I know a lot of people don't make money. Like, a lot of my friends don't have as much, as much money as me. So I'll buy them shots. I'll give them edibles and shit. They're not asking. I'm just like, I'll offer it. Um, but it ends up costing me money when I do that, right? Obviously. They do the weed. In order to make the process of signing these posters go a little bit smoother. Stop being I in denial? No, I, 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 no, I would, I, yeah, no, I would say I'm a stoner. I wouldn't say I'm addicted to weed. I would say I would never want to stop using weed. Okay. All right. Let's get back into it. Let's uh, let's get back into the video here. I had smoked like half a joint of weed, so I was already decently high because I hadn't smoked in a while either. Signing away. Cross the mile. You smoke not often. Uh, like once every other week. Uh, I'll hit a cart or something like that. I eat edibles mainly, like three times a week. Eyes dotting my T's. However, my personal reaction to weed is that I get the munchies. I get the munchies pretty hard. I smoke a little bit of the marijuana, and then I say, oh, I'm gonna eat an entire sleeve of club crackers with no cheese because gluttony. I, I could originally... fucking tank that. Uh, there's been times where I, I ate a whole KFC chicken bucket in a three hour span and waffles and chips when I was high one time, one time, an entire KFC chicken bucket, no problem. I planned to go to dinner with my girlfriend and her father. So I was trying to wean off of the high and just kind of sign the posters and wait until it kind of wore off. And then I would go and do that. One of the things that they had at this You've house- You've told us this. I know, Noah. They had a- I know, Noah. I encounter in which a bunch- I repeat myself on stream sometimes because new people are here. Just snacks were all laid out. There was chips. There was more chips. There was, How many pieces? Like a pizza, six or an eight? I don't fucking remember. As I look across this horizon of bountiful snacks, I see a nerd's rope. And my munchie brain is like, oh. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I remember nerd's rope. I haven't had nerd's rope in fucking forever, dude. I'm thinking back to my childhood where we would go to a campground in Maine and I would waddle on down to the snack shack and grab myself a nerd's rope. And before eating it, considering its potential applications as nunchucks or 
trying to tie a knot with it, but then realizing I'm a kid. I don't know how to tie knots and my prefrontal lobe won't even be done cooking for another 20 years. So what's even the point? Give me a slush puppy. Give me a Game Boy SP. Let's fuck it up. But Lord have mercy. Did I learn in this moment I no longer was a child, but a man? Bro, a wait, I don't understand how he's going to tell me that he's going to eat a fuck. Okay, I'm not even going to spoil it. Man who experiences consequence in the worst way possible. So I'm signing more posters. You know, I'm cruising. I'm having a great time, all right? Nerds rope tastes a bit strange, but that could also be my perception that I have of being already high. And it kind of, if you've ever been high before, it, it kind of messes with your perception of taste a little bit. It was like drinking a Diet Coke versus a normal Coke where there's like, you know, there's something there. There's something there, but I don't fully process why it tastes different. So I finish the nerds rope and then I go to have another nerds rope because I'm high and have the munchies. As I'm biting into the next nerds rope, one of the misfits guys says, Ted, don't eat those. Those are edibles. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, ah, I must, uh, I must have heard you wrong. I would shit my pants. I would honestly, I would honestly start immediately freaking out. It wouldn't even be like a, oh, well, I'm going to be along for the ride. Dude, he ate an entire nerd's rope. Those are fucking literally 400 milligrams. Like, you share those with, like, six people. Wrong. Um, scoozy? Yeah, Ted, that's an edible. So I say, no Before fucking Before it digests? Way. Dude, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to get that up. How much was it? And he says, I think, it, I think it might be, like, 60 milligrams. What? 60 milligrams to give you context the largest edible i'd had up until this point in my life was 20 milligrams so of course i ask are you sure one oh of the my guys God. 20 milligrams and then he eats what how many how many times is that 20 times he ate a, a he's only ever eaten 20 milligrams he just ate 20 times what he's ever eaten walks over to the counter and picks up the package of the nerds rope and with the most you are fucked face i've ever seen in a person he says, it's actually 400 milligrams. Now remember, I've already freaked out when I heard that it was a 50 milligram edible. And I've just been told that it is actually eight times that amount. So you may be asking yourself, Ted, how the fuck did you not know that that was an edible? And that's a good question. Exactly. Like I know the packaging's different, but an edible doesn't taste good. In almost every, like if you eat an edible, it tastes like weed. Like, it just tastes off. Like, really off. Like, you, even if you've never had an edible before, you have a nerd's rip, you're going to be like, ugh. Like, this is, it would taste bad. Like, it was rotting or stale. Let's start with the packaging. That's the packaging. It uses the same packaging as the actual branded nerd's rope. It's got a thing that says, tear and share, as if it's okay, just Okay, yeah, that is, that is, okay. On, on, I mean, but you didn't read that? CA with a weed symbol and a fucking, like a fucking traffic sign? Bro, and it's purple. Normal candy. In hindsight, that's very much so implying for a good reason that you really should be sharing it and not eating it entirely on your own. If you're not really paying attention. It was because he was high though. Like he didn't know. And it's been like eight years since you've had a nerd's rope. This is pretty easy to mistake for a super potent formula. Medicate or medicated warning keep out of reach of children. <laughs> Did he? I don't think he read it. I think he probably grabbed it, saw nerds rope, and then just broke that bitch open. He didn't like, and there are so many warnings on this fucking nerds rope 400 milligrams per rope nerds rope in addition to that there was a very specific and deceptive way that everything was laid out as snacks in the misfits house and i'll just let swagger souls explain that for me there was a very reasonable way like we set it up because the nerds rope was an edible it was a 400 milligram edible and he didn't read the packaging but we have on that bench it's a big ass bench it's snacks and food chips pringles gummy bears all that shit munchies and then there's weed food which is edibles in between that and the weed which makes sense if, uh, like you know, a spectrum yeah, yeah. like a spectrum mm. progressively but, dangerous but why wouldn't you space it out like I, just because they know right like but i'm sitting here like if you're having friends over if you're having friends over you have pringles and then right next to the pringles you have drugs <laughs> like like just genuine drugs that are 
that look like regular food. I feel like they were probably spaced out. There's no way. There's no way they were right next to each other, like intermingled. And he was just like, oh, yeah, nerds are up. Yes. The That's the thing is that it would make more sense to kind of put the weed food away so that you don't confu confuse. I would think that is so funny, though. Like, I know for a fact, I know for a fact my friends would fuck with me. Oh, they would not give a shit. If I accidentally ate a 400 milligram, like, edible, and I was like, guys, I'm freaking out, they'd be like, <laughs> Or some shit. And they, they, they would not help me in any way whatsoever. I would be fighting demons, and they would be, they would be a part of those demons. Just the food with the, with the weed. Food. Which is I'm what so happened to poor Ted. Open to Ted. He was tripping <laughs> balls. If you've ever been in a car crash, even if it's not your fault, there's a certain feeling after it immediately happens. It's this mind-racing feeling when you have absolutely no idea what to do, but you also know that- I would that make myself vomit. <laughs> Oh, f actually, I, I would kind of want to, I would kind of want to ride it out. I, I don't think I could though. The first time, okay, now I'll, inter now I'll intertwine my story. The first time I ever got high, I ate edibles. I ate three. This is the most I've ever, not, no, no, it was two. I ate two medical edibles. Was it two or three? I don't remember the shit. It was like a hazy, it was like a hazy memory, right? Because it was either two or three medical edibles. I think it was 25 milligrams of like medical weed, which now I could do, right? I would I would be really high if I ate that, but like I would be able to handle it. Right? It was like twenty five milligrams or whatever it was. And there were these pink gummies that were about yay big, right? I eat them and I'm with my friend who knows that I've never eaten these edibles before. And we're watching the Lorax, blah blah blah. I don't feel shit. I start uncontrollably laughing. Like randomly. Right. I'm eating Mike and Ike's I feel these, like, this sour pierce my whole body. And I'm like, damn, I'm high. I take a bath in a fucking bathing suit. And I'm just sitting there, like, watching a YouTube video or some shit. Like, high out of my mind, right? I stand up. I immediately feel nauseous. I start vomiting for, like, an hour. Just dry-ass throw up. I green out, right? Like I'm, And I thought I was in purgatory. Like, straight up. Thought I was in purgatory, puking my brains out off like 25, 25 medical to be fair, but 25 nevertheless, right? Which at max is like 150 of like non-medical is how I would compare it, at least in the, the New Jersey weed scale. But he's also in California where shit's way stronger, right? 400 milligrams. I'd probably geek out. That something has to be done or you're fucked. AKA... Panic. So at this point, I begin to freak out for three reasons. First of all, Max is back. I didn't know if I was personally prepared mentally to get as high as I was about to get. Second of all, I had made plans for dinner with my girlfriend and her father that night, and I definitely won't be making it. And I'm pretty sure she's going to be a little bit pissed. And the third reason. I hadn't smoked weed in two months, which- I mean, can she really be mad at you, though? Like, if I had plans to go out with Brooke and her family, and I call her and I say, I accidentally just ate a 400 fucking milligram edible. She, would, she wouldn't be mad at me. She would probably be, like, concerned that I'd pass out. Which meant that my tolerance was rock bottom. I like to explain Who this made with that what poll? I like to call- who made that poll and that poll? If you're not 21, don't ever try weed. Well, the skyscraper analogy. Right here, we have the tolerance skyscraper, which represents my tolerance to marijuana. Let's just say that whenever I smoke weed, I start at the ground floor in the lobby. If my tolerance were higher, then maybe I'd go a couple stories up to the mid-level apartments. That's where all the stoner kids from high school hang out. And they're all pretty high up there, but it's nothing really to be worried about. You're probably couch locked, but you'll be fine. With my tolerance at zero, though, I knew in my heart and my soul that I was going all the way up to Cheech and Chong's fucking penthouse as an unwilling and unexpected guest for an undetermined amount of time. As things stand right now, I don't even live in the building. I'm from out of town and I sometimes commute into the city. Oh, it's a Friday night. Oh, we should go, we should go get drinks in the city. That's the, that's what I'm operating on. I know that I'm on a timer. Most edibles take about 45 minutes to an hour before they kick in. But I know that I've taken this edible about 10 to 15 minutes prior. 
which means uh, math, I've got about 45 minutes before this edible hits me and I die. Although other things can affect this, such as- But he's probably already digested it at that point. Being on like an empty entirely. stomach, which I was. My first thought was that I need to make myself throw up because if I can get rid of as much of this edible as possible, I could potentially mitigate the level of inebriation that I was about to experience. So I stumble over to the bathroom and I start to gag and I'm trying to make myself throw up, but I've never made myself throw up before. How are you so happy all the time, Joe? All the videos I've seen of you are, and all the lives you've seen so happy. What the fuck are you talking about? My girlfriend says happiness could be a choice, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to be happy. Dude, I am not happy, like, the majority of the time. Like, what? Chat, am I happy all the time on stream? No. I feel like that's, that's the first problem, is you're assuming that everybody's happy all the time, right? I understand you're saying you don't know how to be happy. Uh, to that, I would say do things you enjoy. Be around the people that you like. You've been happy before. Saying you can't, you've never been happy and you don't know how to be happy is just cap, right? Uh, but I would also say thinking that everybody's happy all the time is just a gross misunderstanding of reality. Um, I'm not always happy. Like, right now, I'm nothing, right? I'm not happy, but I'm not unhappy. Being happy is like an ecstatic emotion, right? Uh, you experience it a lot, but you don't experience it a lot. To that, I would say you can't really control when you're happy. You can control yourself not being sad, but you can't force yourself to be happy. Lunar for the three. Cheerio, got to go back to work. Luca for the three. Just finished my homework. Second day of school. Chunky for the five. A couple years back, I ate two 500 milligram edibles. Ended up greening out. Yeah, I would assume so. Truly for the sub and the 300 biddies. Uh, Natalie for the three. Uh, what age should you buy your first vape? Uh, not until you're legally allowed to do so. Uh, and even then, if it's nicotine, never. I don't know how to do it. So the next step is... And that I weed never, right? Like, if you're going to get into weed, if you're like 21 and it's legal in your state, I would say do edibles. Don't smoke. Smoking is not good in any way. Got Carson on his phone looking up how-tos on WikiHow on how to make myself throw up. And then Cooper's in the kitchen and he's making cups of salt water for me to chug. Cups of salt water. Apparently if you chug salt water, it helps with the throwing up process. I'm not sure how true that was. It just ended up with me just throwing up a bunch of pinkish salt water. So I, I can't speak for its effectiveness, but... There you go. And I'm pretty sure since the nerd's rope was sort of a candy, sugar-based food, it was really easy for my stomach to digest it really fast. So I'm pretty sure if I hadn't thrown it up within maybe five minutes, there really wasn't that much that I could do from there. So by the time I was done throwing up, some food that we had ordered earlier arrived, and Cooper basically advised me that the best thing that I could really do for myself would be to just fill my now completely empty stomach. From this point on, all I could really do was, uh, buckle up, strap in, and- I try to go to bed. I feel like after vomiting, the last thing you could do is try and sleep, but you're going to be so paranoid that you're not going to be able to do that. And probably too high to the point where you couldn't sleep. Get ready for the fucking high of a lifetime. God bless my soul. So I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of what this high was like. It wasn't fun. I also have some video footage that Cooper took, so link to his channel in the uh, in the description. Once I kind of came to terms with the fact that I was going to have to ride out this high no matter what, I decided to give myself a home base. Just somewhere where I could ground myself and not really need to worry about moving around or anything. I found myself a nice armchair and I sat myself down there and prepared for the ride of a lifetime. The first thing that happened was a classic weed symptom, which is cotton mouth, which is when your mouth gets really, really dry. So I was pretty much just constantly drinking water. I remember starting to get colder. And the Misfits, they had a room where they just had a bunch of extra merch laid out where they could just give that to friends and stuff while they were in LA. And I kind of just walked in there and just threw on one of the sweatshirts and then just went back to my home base and sat down. And I was wondering for myself if that 
cold symptom that I was experiencing was real. I did research on the symptoms that I was experiencing, and this was something that actually happens. Informally, it's referred to as weed chills. The THC literally lowered my internal body temperature, so I actually was getting cold. Another thing that happened, and I think this also might have been a symptom of being cold, but I started getting shaky. And it's really funny the way that I described that. I when would I think I'm dying. If, if I was not experienced in weed and, and I ate that amount after like maybe getting high twice ever, I would honestly think I'm dying. Like if you're sitting there going like this, like fucking shaking like you're an old man. I was high and I actually have video footage of that right here. Welcome back to the vlog. It's gotten worse, <laughs> friends. Uh, we are, it's been about 45 minutes since last and uh, this is fucking bad. Ted, I think you need another stick of butter. I feel like I'm, my entire body feels like rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much after that point was when things started to get, um, they started to get bad. Fuck. Dude, and why are they sitting in a silent room? I feel like that's making it worse. He's sitting there freaking out, and it's just shh. Radio silence. No one's talking. He can't fucking... Like, the silence is getting loud as fuck in his head, probably. I'd be skitzing. I'd be like, turn on the TV or some shit. The shaking was also the reason why in the video you can see me clasping my hands together. Because I was literally, like, shaking so much that I had to hold my hands together really tightly and keep my body really tight and close. Yeah, so I, I, I could... feel like you would have to divert your focus, right? Like, him, him sitting in a quiet room is only going to make it worse because all he's thinking about is how he's going to get really high. If he, like, watched a movie, he might have actually probably been fine. He probably would have started freaking out, honestly. I, I don't know for sure, but it would have been better because he would have been able to distract himself. Could be in, like, a comfortable state. And then I get into what is called the painful zone or the first level of weed hell. Pretty much any position that I was sitting in felt painful. Of the painful. It Fucking touching shit and feeling the world around me feels bad. Damn. And uncomfortable. Don't do too much weed. I hate this. I was in the pain hotel and I was its only guest. Any surface that I touched, whether it be the arms of my chair, putting my hands on my knees, anything like that just felt bad. And what I think I would attribute that to is just being so high my sense of touch was just so elevated that my brain was just overloaded or something. Most of the time I was just trying to like breathe deeply and kind of maintain my composure. But whenever Cooper would turn the camera on me and he would start recording, I would sort of like try to elevate my attitude and try to seem as cheery as possible because I didn't really want to seem like an idiot high stoner on camera you know at a certain point i had to move my home base because it was too disorienting to be sitting straight up i had to go and get fucking horizontal baby and i pretty much had to make a mental agreement with myself just to survive is it just pure pain now Oh, that's what you hate to hear. It was anymore. during this time of unbearable dizziness that my good friend Schlatt decided to use a fucking handheld massager on me. You are a criminal for trying to do this shit to me right now, Schlatt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm understand. just getting the lactic you acid really flowing. You can't do this I just want to get the juices flowing. I just want to get the juices stupid? flowing. That's going to turn me into like Ted. another Ted, if you please. Organism. If you please. I will fucking jujitsu you, bitch. Ted, what's the update? What's the status? Defcon 1. Oh no. Do you see my attitude there? Oh my I god, he's drinking Dasani water too. That's only gonna make it worse. That's literally sodium water. Boy. Oh no. Do you see my attitude there? I wonder why I wouldn't like that. A rapidly moving massager. If you want a lesson on what not to do to someone when they're high, that really takes the cake. Eventually, the fateful moment happens. 
I had a weed barf. I honestly think it was really growing up high is actually fucking brutal. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't make it better at all. Uh, you're just vomiting. You you're still as high as you were before. You're just throwing up. Just because of how dizzy I was getting from being high. And luckily for me, I had a whole sandwich about an hour ago. I literally had to run across the entire room and just run into the bathroom and throw up. After I threw up, though, that's pretty much where the high took the downturn, though. It was cleansing. I had, it was a cleansing barf. Yeah, it was a, it was detoxifying. I went to go eat some Skittles, but without even knowing I was on camera, I went around to people and not trusting my own ability to determine this, I asked them if the Skittles were edibles or not. Jack, this, what do you know, these are normal okay. Skittles, right? Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. don't have weed in them, right? These are regular ass Skittles. Good. Yeah. You don't get edibles in that yeah. thing yeah. on yeah. yeah. I ate the edible at about 6.30 p.m. that day, and I stayed awake all the way until about 4 a.m. that wow. night. I woke up at about 9 a.m., and I was still very high, but I was definitely a manageable amount of high. What struck me, though, was I was high for the entire next day. I went to bed that night high. So in total, after eating a 400 milligram edible, I was high for about you know, 26 hours. If there's one thing you 26 guys should- 26 hours straight. Didn't take away Somebody said L video. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh. From this is like any anti-weed sentiment from this video. I think weed is a perfectly healthy drug to use recreationally. But weed, like everything else, fall- Well, yeah, just don't take too much. <laughs> like Ted. All right, we got one more video. I'm going to save this Everest one for another day. We got five scary things caught on camera in real life. This video is about to be fucking uh, either great or terrible. One of the two. If it's shit, we'll change it. I got to piss real quick, though. So y'all got to count me down a uh, fucking 30 seconds. Santee for the sub Cyrus, for the sub chivalry, for the sub lunar, for the three. All right. Count me down, chat. Lock in chat. Santi for the sub. Five scary things caught on camera and in real life. Oh, this is so loud. Oh my god. Nukes top five. Yeah, this is gonna be a brutal watch. Top five scary things caught on camera. Bigfoot. Sasquatch versus tree. Oil workers at a construction site in Alberta, Canada noticed a large, dark figure coming out of the mist in some near- Alright, let's do our predictions here. What are the odds the video's in 140p? And everything is indiscernible. <laughs> what, are you, what are the odds we literally can't make out anything in this fucking video? ...by Woods. One of the workers grabbed his phone and began filming the large shape. He's kind of coming over the. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow! What do you have a fucking Nokia camera? Jesus Christ! I can't even see the tree line. Do you live in the movie The Mist? Why is it so fucking foggy? Now, in the original copy of this video, very little can be made out. All we hear are the construction workers talking about something in the misty woods, quote, throwing a tree. 
but YouTuber Thinker Thunker stabilized and enhanced the video, revealing a much better image of what the workers saw in the mist. Yo, that looks so edited. Oh my god, that looks that looks like a gorilla throwing something. Right there. Threw it like a fucking javelin. A large dark figure can be seen. Oh my god, Bigfoot confirmed. Oh my god, this is un undeniable evidence. Lurking at the edge of the woods and then actually picking up a tree with one hand and hurling it 30 to 40 feet through the air. So is this evidence of a Bigfoot caught on tape? No. Is it a fake tree? Or is it just someone in a Sasquatch suit with truly amazing arm strength? You decide. The Russian Yetis. Now the accounts of Bigfoot type creatures from Russia tend to be more of the Yeti slash abominable snowman variety. The Yeti is considered to be a slightly different creature from the North American Bigfoot, but similar enough that the name is just the same thing with big teeth and it's white. Yeti and Bigfoot are often confused or used interchangeably. In this first clip, some guys are driving on a snowy Russian forest road near the Ural Mountains. The region is infamous for Yeti sightings. The travelers have a strange encounter all their own. You're not gonna drive towards it? Oh my god, bro. I'd want to see what it was. The car's driver, Vadim Gilmanov, swears that the footage is 100% real. He says that it. I mean, it looks like it's three feet tall. 100%. Dude, that deadass looks like it's it's like almost an elf. Maybe it's the video angle. 100% real. He says that it could have been someone pulling a prank. Oh, this video fucking sucks. Jesus Christ. This what? Stop recommending Nuke's top five videos in the suggestion tab, dude. Fucking shit. Like, like it's 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 so bad. I can't even make fun of it. It's so bad to the point where it's like. I don't even want to watch the video. It's so fucking boring. Artix for the sub, Derpy for the sub, Static for the three. What should I DoorDash? I don't, uh, Chick-fil-A. Santee for the sub. Horror short film, Altitude. We'll watch this. Fucking hell. All right. Lock in chat. My chat's spamming Max is live. I know Max is live chat. Relax. Low ass pan. Oh my god, get to the fucking people. Holy shit. I'm already scared. Oh yeah, this is way more scary than the fucking stupid ass Bigfoot sighting video we just watched. Why would they go hiking on a foggy day? Or are they just above the clouds? Was this los? We must be here for a long time. Okay, this is sicher nur wegen Nebel. And auf this Gravel brauchst du sowieso nicht schauen. The 
What is she fucking freaking out about? Face cam? I don't need to move my face cam, bro. I know! I know! My fucking god! Bro, like, the, uh, Max is live. Max is live. Max is live. I don't, I don't care, okay? I don't care. I love Max, right? He's my boy, dude. I'm watching a fucking video right now. We'll rate him when I'm done. If you want to go watch Max, go fucking watch Max. That's fine. Right? Jesus Christ. Oh. Das kann nicht sein. Wir müssen schon längst da sein. Ja, auf. Die Hitten wird schlecht davon gerannt sein. Was war das? Kind of rude, dot, 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 just couldn't see. How was I at all rude to you? You told me to move my face cam, and I just said no. Chivalry for the sub. Yo, what is with... Oh, my God. Yo, I just got to stop. I got to stop answering the chatters that are just complaining to me. Like, honestly. Like, I, 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 I enable it. I enable it. Because I, I respond to them, and then, they, and then it just fuels that shit. Ich nur Viech. Do I read the chat? Do I read the... Do I enable the person? Do I enable the person? Do I enable the... Do I enable the chatter? All right. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... I'll, I'll say what their chat was. Damn, this streamer is mean to chat. I'm out. When they followed me for over a year and been in my chat all the time. I'm not mean to my chat. I bug on my chat when my chat pisses me off, dude. Chivalry for the sub, Artix for the sub, Derpy for the sub. I'm not being mean to my chat. Like, this is the type of shit that makes me just want to end stream, bro. Loud as hell. All right, maybe scream a bit quieter. Okay, I know you're getting dragged to the depths. God damn. Something possessor? Saga.
Thomas? Thomas! Is this real her, or is this her in her mind now? Oh my god! I thought he was gonna be naked. Holy fucking shit. <sighs> Bro, that was the scare there. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna be butt-ass naked. Dude, when she panned down like that, I thought it was about to be fucking... Oh my god, I thought it was about to be over, man. Thomas, was was this los? Why is he acting like that now? Feisha, was wollt ihr von uns? Run down the mountain, fucking leap! Oh my god, is she going into the woods? Oh, they gotta stop. They gotta stop scaring me with those fucking pans. I, I, why is is it this the same dude that told her to fucking run? Why is he now hurting her? way you would have enough force with one hand while you're getting choked to fucking pickaxe somebody in the head. <laughs> I feel like this was all in her head. She about to wake up. What the fuck? <gasps> she killed him in real life. Oh shit, she killed him in real life and he did nothing. I knew that shit had to be fake because she he was acting like her. But she was just in her head. She was still controlling her body, but she was envisioning that he was hurting her. Wow. She just murdered her husband. And you know what's even more crazy is if this actually happened, no one would ever believe her. They would be like, you just killed your husband. Or they would think she's crazy, probably. That was a good-ass fucking film. All right. Chat, we're going to call that there. I hope you all had a fun time watching the stream. I had a fun time streaming. Uh, we're going to actually upload on YouTube right now, so if you all want to go watch that, uh, you can. Uh, it is the video where people fight over a Taylor Swift ticket. Uh, Taylor Swift fans fight for concert tickets. Um... We're posting that now. So if y'all want to go check that out, uh, feel free to do so. Anyways, outside of that, it was a W stream. Uh, we had a great chat, great audience today. Exclamation point, Discord, mods, pin the Discord link. Uh, if you have any videos you want me to watch uh, or games you want me to play, exclamation point, Discord, join the Discord. Send videos for me to react to games you want to play in the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab, uh, video suggestion tab for, uh, video, uh, or for react days, and game suggestion tab for a gaming days.
Uh, I appreciate a lot of the suggestions that you guys give because it's how I find a lot of the videos that I watch uh, and the games that I play. Uh, outside of that, I will not be uploading on YouTube tomorrow because I just uploaded today. I will be uploading Sunday, but uh, I'll be live tomorrow early around 1230 EST. We're going to do a random PC game day. Uh, should be fun. It'll be probably 1230 to 330, just a three-hour stream tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, I'll probably be live for uh, like four hours doing a bunch of reacts. Uh, it'll be a big react day, uh, cause we are doing the charity stream, uh, for the suicide prevention, world suicide prevention day. Uh, so tomorrow, 1230 random game or random PC day, uh, 2 PM on Sunday, uh, the charity streams plus reacts Monday. I'll be live at 430 doing Subnautica Tuesday. I won't be live Wednesday. I'll be doing Joyville and scary reacts Thursday. I'll be doing Fortnite and then a more Spider-Man miles Morales. Uh, and then Friday react next Friday reacts next Saturday. I'll be doing prison sim. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all had fun watching once again. I had a fun time streaming. We'll actually raid Max Taylor because he hasn't been live in forever. But, uh, once again, I hope y'all had fun watching. Uh, and I appreciate everybody that sub, donut, followed, uh, and just watched in general. Uh, and I hope to catch y'all in future streams, whether it be tomorrow, Sunday, or whenever. Uh, static for the three. Order Chick-fil-A. Any recommendations to get bigger forearms? Joey for the sub. Grip workouts. Uh, Charlie, Artix, and Derpy for the sub. All right. Hope you all had fun watching once again. I will catch you all tomorrow. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See y'all later.